let me just put on, let's put on our little music song there that I like, just while we're uh, waiting, if you don't mind. Do you mind? I'm good. Oh, actually, I wanted to put on a little, uh, I haven't done Zane. You might not like the energy of Zane. Do you, you know Zane? Not sure. Zane, Zane has a, he has a, some energy. He's a little raw, but uh, he's got good energy. I, I don't know. Some people get a little bit, uh, they can't take it, but here, I'll just play a little bit. Can you hear this now? No. Oh, you can't hear it. Okay. Um... Uh, all right, that doesn't matter because uh, I'm just going to test the, um, the the stream. That's all. Give me one second here. Sure thing. Tracking all my thoughts through a fiber optic lens From agencies of alphabet, tracking all my trends They trick me on the under ah. tip It's gotta stop, these masons cannot mess with me I'm breaking out the box I go to the toilet quick or are we on? Like uh, we're, we're on, but yeah, go for it, go ahead No, no, I'm good I'm giving me a master key, I'm true for stream, that's all I'm moving, there's a silence, the smoothest lyrical I'm yeah. to pull of science Um, so we're on force, growing up the cannabis. Only smoke the best. So Let me see, sound okay? Let me see Gonna make it broke up, packed up and pulled down Slayer, mayor of the truth town, rising to the top. And when I do, I say a prayer, cause God is like a rock. And he is always standing there. No bitch. Back, giving you a miracle. Devil's getting jacked with this cap. No okay. me or for you? Uh. Um. Yeah, I think we're okay. Oh, why don't you, why don't you run and I'll, I'll wait for you. Go ahead, man. Okay? If you've started, then it's okay. It's no, no, right. that's okay. That's all right. These people are just coming in for a few seconds, and then we'll take. It's okay, man. Seriously. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, man. Everybody, everybody, everybody hear me, folks? Yeah. Might have been loud. Maybe I had it too loud. I don't know. <laughs> oh, thanks, Mark. You did say I was good. Thank you. Um, so I have Howard George Sturp here. He's from Spain. And um, we were just going to do a hangout and talk about activism. So for people who are interested in activism, you might enjoy this. For people who aren't, you might want to skip. <laughs> but we're just chilling out. Um, hey, by the way, everybody, this is Zane. If you don't know already. Zane, you have to, if you're looking for Zane, if you want to, uh, you know, subscribe to his channel, you have to, uh, you have to uh, type in like Zane and then Flat Earth, otherwise YouTube hides him too. So, all right, he's back. I'm going to turn this off. Let's see here. Let me put you on. There we go. I'm just going to put you on the screen. Um, and then let me just put on the chat there. So, uh, Howard George Stirrup, all the way over in Spain. What time is it in Spain right now? It's like 8.30? Yeah, it's about 8.30. Cool, man. So, uh, nice to meet you. And, nice uh, to I've, meet you too, David. Thank you. And uh, I've seen you know, a few of your videos now. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't gotten to all of them, but uh, they're nice, man. They're cool. I like where you, and you go out on the beach kind of sometimes like me too, which uh, it's nice. I think it's a good atmosphere, you know? Yeah, good vibes. Yeah. So I found, um, I found you, I don't know if you know this, I found you from uh, John Smith Global. I was chatting with him and he had mentioned, he had mentioned your name and he said he likes your work. And I was like, oh, I'll have to check you out. Yeah. So, he, he inspired me uh, to, to start in the first place. Me too, man. Him, it was like a group of people and slowly I was like, I want to do this, you know, but uh, now I don't want to do it anymore. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. It's crazy, though, right? <sighs> you just you mean you just don't want to be doing it alone. We need uh, the viewers out there to chip in and help out and, you know, get involved because we can't do this without you guys. Yeah, we need it. Yeah, maybe that's yeah, that's probably what I mean. I, although, yeah, yeah, I mean, you're going to go out there regardless. I'm probably going to go out there regardless, I think. But, uh, man, it would be great to see more to see more people hitting the streets. I know I know a lot of people go out there and don't record. Right. Yeah. So that's a good thing too. I've um, I've actually got um, the idea now that I want to 
try and motivate people to go out there and, and give them ideas and examples of how easy it can be and how beneficial it can be socially. Um, so the one good thing for all you viewers out there, um, and I'm sure David's done this himself, is if you're a little bit embarrassed because of the place you're in or the company you're with, you don't always have to take the, you don't always have to put yourself in the firing range. You can invent a little story that you've just got out of a taxi and the taxi driver's told you this, that and the other. Or you can say that your friends just called you and told you this. And what do you, th you know, you can take away that you're believing or knowing this and you can say that you just heard this and as the third person doesn't even exist or is not there at least nobody's going to get laughed at so it's a really easy way to open up the conversation without you taking the firing if they're closed-minded people dude they all are closed-minded people in most men aren't they well Pretty much. i look at it as um you know we, we only have to switch on an iphone uh, we only have to turn on the computers and, and we get globes in our faces you know you want a notification it's a globe guess what um it, it's in your face all the time when you turn on a movie um it's there spinning without the clouds moving in the mention it's never got the clouds moving so it's it's just programming us uh, with repetition so it's it's quite obvious people are going to be um, asleep to, to the to the truth they're not going to see the truth in plain sight as they say um, so, so, um, you, you, uh, you, we just, we just literally contacted each other not too long ago. I mean, it was, it was a short while ago. And, um, like I said, I, I, uh, I think John, John Smith Globly, uh, Harry, he told me about you. I commented on one of your videos and then, you know, here we are. Yeah. That's one of the benefits of the internet. It's pretty cool. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, just so you're aware, I did I did tell uh, Harry John Smith Globally about uh, us going on because I just wanted to let him know if he wants to join us. I thought it might be cool, so uh, I think he's uh, might be available sometimes around this time. So I hope that didn't intrude you know too, too, too much on your ideas. But that would be amazing. I would be honored if Harry could make it. He, yeah, me too. He's the man, Harry for president. You know. Yeah, yeah. Although I really don't want any presidents, man. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, if we have to have a president, then I'm good with Harry for sure, right? Look, look, we need a system, okay? We need a system, but we just need to know how to tame the beast. How about that? Transparency. Um, we can't allow all these secret societies because it's obvious when someone knows something you don't, they're going to use it to their advantage and when it comes to public um, interest, there should be no secrets. And when you think, Dave, we've got these telephones in our hands and we've had platforms like Facebook showing us that we can vote, yes, like, uh, comment, put your own idea. Why don't we have a similar platform for politics? Because ah. we're, <laughs> we're so distracted by it, you know? We need to realize that we have the technology to govern ourselves we don't need to keep, um, we, we need to re refurbish, renovate the whole system. Like I say, tame the beast. Um, yeah, 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 it's, um, I don't know, man. When I, when I, when I, when I hear, when I hear us continuing to, I, I, like, I, you know, I don't mean to disagree with you, but I, you know, I want to be honest and tell you, how, you know, no, I'm not going to just yes people just because you have a, you know, different mindset than me. But I just don't trust, I don't think I trust, um, I don't think I trust men enough anymore right now um, at this point. I think, you know, you get a little, they get a, we get a little power and um, we freaking lose our freaking minds. And I feel like, you know, that even happens with us sometimes, like, you know, all of us, like me included, like, you know, um, why am I posting videos of, of, of flat earth activism you know, am I doing it because, uh, because, right? Am I doing it for the right reasons? I don't know. I don't even freaking know, man. I hope I am. There, there's a call for an uprising and some people have still got their survival instincts and you're one of them and you should be proud of that. And you're influencing other people to, to wake up and uh, do something because we've all been programmed to think that cool, uh, the modern version of cool is to be passive and submissive. 
and that ain't cool guys a real cool which i'm sure david remembers is being able to hold your own and you know don't break a sweat and uh, keep cool under pressure you know and handle your shit don't just back off don't back down don't stand by and say it doesn't matter that ain't cool so we need to re, re refurbish what cool means again because it's it's been dumbed down on purpose yeah we've been dumbed down before we came on man we were chatting and i do want to hit this one little point and it was um you know i like and it, and it touches on what i just said too why are we why am i make why am i freaking doing this you know i could be out literally well although it's about to rain so this is perfect timing for us by the way because i don't feel guilty like i'm starting to be like i don't want to be making videos i want to be out you know because these videos are locked in with everybody already knows, you know, the, or most of the people who are finding me, they already know what's up. You know what I mean? So, um, but before we came on, like we were chatting and I told you about the, um, the freaking, my, the, 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 the last video I made, the last live stream we did with exploring again. And um, he's, he's trying to do exploration. He wants to go explore. And I think that's, you know, very cool thing to do. We have other, you know, not everybody has to be an activist, you know, not everybody has to do experiments. All these things are, are important though. So, you know, we did the live stream, 50 or 60 people are on, which I'm, which, hey man, that's good, right? I'm happy. Got a few people watching and um, he went and he, he sends out the um, a survey. We, we put the link on there, talking to all you people on freaking on watching right now. I'm going to pull a flat earth Fokker. I don't know if you watch him, but he like goes off on his, uh, on his own sub, on his own people who watch him because he's like, you're not doing enough. So I don't mean to be a jerk, but seriously, three people took the survey, right? Three, three people. We posted the links like 20 times. Now, not everybody has to jump when I say jump. I get it, you know, but um, it's just depressing, I think, because uh, I don't know why, why, I don't think people really give a shit. <laughs> you know, so that's where, uh, that's where, or, or, or don't give enough, or, or I don't know what it is. And, you know, go ahead and everybody watching can, can get angry at me and, and say what you got to say. But, um, you know, that's the, like, I, maybe I'm expecting people to jump when I, when I say jump or be interested in things I'm interested in with. And maybe that's wrong. You know, I think we've got to learn to relate to our audience better. See, I've found that I can, um, I can go into a Facebook group um, that's to do with the neighborhood uh, complaints where, you know, you moan about tax expenditure and stuff. And I'll bring up the $52 million a day in the States plus all the other space agencies easily add up to the same worldwide taxes. So you're looking at over $100 million or euros or pounds because I'm English. I live in Spain, but I'm English. It doesn't matter what currency you put on it. It's massive money that could go towards uh, researching illnesses, that could go towards ending world hunger and poverty. So there's ways that you can snap people out of that, what does it matter? How is it going to affect my life? And you, everyone suffers illness at some point. But wait, so let me ask you, I'm sorry to interrupt, but don't you yes. think that the people who are, who, are, who are listening to you and me and the people who we see constantly, do they know this crap, don't they? So, you know, what is the hurdle that, is it like, you know, what is it that it makes them uh... numbers. numbers? They just keep throwing numbers at us. They keep making out as if, oh, oh that, that 52 million a day, the, the 19 billion a year, it's mm -hmm. pennies compared to how much we're spending on this. And so it's just overload of data. They keep distracting us with new data. And um, that's the problem. We need to keep focused. We need to stick to the very simple truths that there's a lot of money going to waste that could help research illnesses and the guys that are behind the geoengineering program um seem to be nasa because in spain the, web, the government put on a website uh, saying that they're combating climate change and the pdf is from nasa do you so have I'll a to people, i say no. to, i'll put i'll put your link to all this i say to people hey if you're not that bothered about um the money that's going to waste that could help research illnesses. How yeah. about preventing illnesses? And they're like, what? I said, look, maybe the government have got good intentions and maybe NASA do too. But let's not get into that. Let's just talk about the less people are informed, the less independent investigation to ensure that there's no side effects on human and plant life.
So when you snap people out of the what what they're fumigating, yeah, mm-hmm. they're they're putting stuff in the sky that could affect us. You know, I'm not going to say it does, it does, it does because then I'm a conspiracy theorist. I just talk facts. It's on a government website. Check it out for yourself. Here's a flyer. Take it home. I say, this is important. This is interesting. Here's a few scientific experiments you can do for yourself, and you'll verify that we're being lied to about where the stars are, uh, what the moonlight does to water within 20 minutes, and how there's no measurable curvature at water sea level. And that's it. You say, that's a nice, that's a nice uh, paper. And they take it home and they wake up uh, either with you or when they take it home and do their experiments. And then they pass the flyer on. So flyers are the worth the weight in gold, everyone. And they're really cheap. If you find a website, that will print you like a thousand. They're a nice glossy paper of about 170 pounds. I don't know if you put grounds there. But uh, yeah, it's worth getting a nice quality, good account, uh, good quality. And uh, they, they, they will really go avalanche. They will do the work for you. Like telling a child, if you uh, know any kids in the neighborhood, um, that not, not ask them, but tell them why they should go and spread the globe lie in their classroom. You say, yeah, and you can say this to people that aren't that good at picking up girls. You just remind people, hey, this is a great conversation starter. You show that you've got depth and you can even interest people because you know something they don't know. And even if they don't appreciate it at first, when they do wake up, you're going to be the guy that woke them up. So you'll forever be cool. You'll forever be uh, in, they'll forever be grateful. So this is a motivation for people to realize it's a win-win. Don't you think, I think a lot of the people, like uh, I do think that most of the people who are, uh, or I, I shouldn't say that, but I have the feeling that most of the people that um, are who know the Earth, Earth is flat, I wonder how many people like listening right now or, or who are here like bring up flat Earth frequently. Like like when I go to the grocery store and I'm standing in line, I don't know about you, anywhere I go anymore, yeah, you, you just bring up how you know you're spinning right now, you know how fast you're spinning, you know something like that. So that would be interesting too, because again, you know, just because uh, I and you have chosen to to hit the streets. Um, you know, it's, uh, it doesn't mean necessarily that other people, I guess, have to do, do things the same exact way that, that, um, that NASA, uh, link that you have there, how you link NASA in, in a, what do you have a news story that talks about NASA being connected with the, um, the, the spraying? Yeah. It's a PDF on a Spanish government website called imet.es and it's talking about, um, modification of artificial modification of the weather geoengineering crazy. Now, in some countries they deny it still uh, but the funny thing is that some countries aren't denying it so i'm using this even with english trans- uh, does that does that freaking jar people when they see it or are they like durr, 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 durr. yeah no no i found that when you mention this is why i say mention the geoengineering if the money yeah. doesn't talk mention yeah. The breathing it in and that the kids could be get hey why is autism up guys you know put it in their head make it relative to them because if they've got children or if they know in the family they're going to relate if they've got poor people if they've had sick people you talk about the money they're going to relate and um, mm-hmm. like i said before you don't have to be in the firing range you can bring it up to people you know saying that you've just heard someone say it on the phone or you've just seen someone on tv and you can give all the facts as if you've only just heard them, and like you can make out your questioning them yourself. And that yeah, but that's deceptive, be- isn't it? Isn't that a little deceptive? I well, like. I-, I I personally don't do that. I'm just saying to people that have some people are shy, some people are not. Yeah. You know. Yep. Yep. And yep. I'm just saying if you're shy, don't don't avoid this because we we need everyone out there to start doing more do. activism, and and we we really depend on you guys to to pick up where we're going to leave off because we can't do this without you and um like like david's saying you can do it with people that you're only going to be like if i'm getting on a bus and i give him a note and the bus driver's got to get the change i'm thinking i've got 15 20 seconds and i can run off within 15 seconds if not less hey did you know there's no measurable curvature at uh, sea level Check by looking at buildings uh, in the daytime or streetlights 20, 30 yeah. miles away, uh, and you'll see there's no curvature. 
Uh, did you know you can zoom in on a star with a modern camera with a fat lens and make a video and prove that they're not what they say or where they say the proximity is much closer? Uh, and did you know that moonlight chills water and it, and, and it shouldn't do? And boom, they're like, what? You haven't even got to mention flat earth. I think, in fact, I'm certain flat earth, the term, and flat earther were, t were coined, they were designed to spark a debate. We were programmed as kids with the imagery of the, the earth with water falling over and the Columbus story and all the um, negative priming to influence our future um, uh, reactions. So because we've been programmed from children to laugh at it, da -da, that's why everybody's laughing when you say flat earth. So nobody should say flat earth. Who brought out the term flat earth? Yeah, I, I mean, we can call them well, shills, but we're not yeah. going to name people because at the end of the day, whether they are a shill or not is irrelevant. It's yeah. that certain people and certain content is getting promoted. And it's the content that either looks goofy or yeah. the content that looks like preachers. And we shouldn't be preachers yeah. telling people we believe the earth is flat. Please yeah. don't anyone be offended with this. I'm just trying to give advice on how to not be put in a corner and be named and labelled, stereotyped, well, I think, I think, and, and just yeah. avoid it by saying, hey, guys, water's flat, so either it's flat or a fourth-dimensional yeah. shape. But I, I think that's what it is. Me. It's about think, the globe lie. Yeah, Boom. I think that's what it is, though. I think it's just a good, it's a simple meme to say, you know, if you're going to say, well, it's emotionless, but there could be a, you know, you just say flat earth, you get the point across for me. Um, one person in here mentioned, and I just want to bring this up, Frequency Illuminating. He's in the chat, and he was like... Uh, uh, I think he, uh, I really don't think activism is for everyone. Some have anger issues. Being called retarded may be a recipe for disaster, which is true. You know, uh, it, it all depends on where you're at, too. There's many types of activism, guys. And um, if you're more comfortable doing online activism, that's great. And I appreciate every single like, uh, comment, share, because that is helping the word get out. And I am totally against aggressive, negative activism. In all of my videos, I might be motor mouthing because I'm yeah. full of energy, but yeah. you'll never see the person I'm talking to upset. They always leave hugging me, shaking my hand. Uh, I've even not me, busy. man. Not I'm me. Smiling. I'm happy. I'm waking people up. I'm there to help them. I'm showing them that I'm on their side and that we need to stick together. I keep, and I always say to people at the end, the truth can only set us free if we're responsible and brave enough to share it. Yeah, you know, it's no good having the truth to yourself. We've got to get it out. So when I talk about activism, I'm saying face to face, online, uh, secret posting flyers in people's uh, letterboxes. If you billboards, want banners, you name it, B banners. Yeah, like Mikey, Mikey Smith is here. He he, uh, he he's done two things which I think are really cool. Uh, well, he's done more than that, but lately he put a he put a freaking billboard on the top of his freaking car. I don't know if you've seen that, and he drives around. He drives around with a a bullhorn, and he, he uh, he's like, oh, like telling people you're not spinning. Like, it's pretty cool. Um, and then the other thing he did, he just did, he just hung a banner across a, uh, across a, uh, a you know, a span, you know, a, a roadway. And it was actually nice because there was backed up roadway so people could see it really good. So uh, I have a big banner too. So I'm thinking about doing that. But hey, before I, before I forget, I have, I'm, uh, I'm showing right now on the screen, uh, the Flat Earth People Finder. Um, have you heard about that? I'm not sure if I uh... tried to find it two days ago on, um, is it Google Play? And I couldn't find the application for my phone. Is it, uh, is it no, an app? No, it's not an app yet. Um, I think we're going to, I think it's going to become one at some point. They're working on it. Like basically it's just a website right now. So if uh, anybody's please, listening please, right now. Please hurry up and make an app, Dave, because I, I, I was looking for it and I wanted to download it. I think it's a great idea. Yeah, but I mean, there is a website too. I don't know if you can't use that or, or not, but it's uh, it's at zoomtruth.com um, and then other people can install it on their site. But I just wanted to mention it just in case anybody is watching who has not, if you haven't watched it, if you haven't signed up and you're watching me, please unsubscribe. Um, just kidding. Uh, but uh, but seriously, we have like, it's, it's at uh, 40, there's 20 people per page and I think we're at uh, almost... 30, I think we're over about 30, almost 800 people signed up. So it's, see, it's okay, but I'm a little bit like, 
800 people, if there's truly, a, even if there's a million people who know about the earth being flat, um, it seems strange that so like the 800 is not a very good batting average for a couple few weeks out when I thought we would be a kind of a tighter knit community, but maybe it's not, or maybe there's not so many of us. You think there's really so sure. many distractions. There's just so many distractions. I mean, I love that there's people researching the mud floods. Um, because that that's that's evidence you know you only got to look at the photos from the early 19th century where there's no people in any of the big cities and the, the mud the, the roads are all covered in mud and then you've seen excavations where there's uh, even london is especially there's so many uh, buildings that have got main entrances and windows that are yeah. under the level of the ground as we understand yeah. it now so I'm thinking, great, this helps prove that we're being lied to about lots of stuff. History is his story. Great. The problem is people are getting really deep into it and they're releasing so much new content that, like you say, people that should all be knitting together and sticking to just exposing the global lies and geoengineering were either running down rabbit holes looking at models of what the Earth may be which right. I'm sorry, guys, but not to hit a nervy, but I just need to make everyone think we shouldn't be looking too much at models and preaching them because that makes us like the scientists and people who are debating. So we've got to stick to the facts and we've got to enjoy theories with open ears, uh, talk to, speak to people about theoretical stuff, but stick to the facts as much as you can. And just remember that by flooding the market with so much content on the... Uh, all the different things that are coming out, like the trans agenda and the mud floods and um, just so much stuff coming out. And it's all relative and it's all good. But I think what we should make sure we're doing as content creators is not diluting the waters by just um, pumping out stuff to get views. Or I don't think we're diluting anything. anything. George, George, we're not diluting anything because honestly, no one's finding our stuff anyway at this point. The only reason that we have a few viewers is because they already know about, like, I think we are like, when you, like, when I go out, I don't know about you, but I'm promoting links to sites that are going to link to Eric Dubay and to people and to, uh, to stop, look, think like to people who, who give a good, uh, a group, you know, good explanation for what could possibly be, you know, sometimes things get messy. I know like someone was taught, I was watching one of, uh, Mark Sargent's videos, or he would, the early videos from like two years ago, right? And he was talking yeah. about how he doesn't like to muddy the water with, um, with you know, with uh, like say the Holocaust or this or that. And he likes to just stay right on, you know, right on um, on the hall on, on on flat Earth, which is which is fine. But for me, I'm like, you know, what? Like I don't know. There, everybody's at different levels, and and uh, what you know, they might cut, you're, you might be planting a seed by them hearing about the hol Holocaust. Uh, you know, that you you know that that might re resonate with somebody more than another. I forgot what my point is already. While I was mumbling, I think what it is, I've got nothing against researching and promoting facts. Oh but yes, just keep the theory. But how do we know what are the facts? theories for ears that are already open Dude. for eyes that can All already. Right. Don't talk right. to people that are still asleep about theories because you're gonna, you're gonna, you can actually get a more negative response by bringing up beliefs because we're, we're just pointed at as religious people. So we've got to stick to the facts. Check this out, though. The fact is, is that the, the facts, man, are not so straightforward. I was speaking with somebody. I think maybe it was Isaiah forty twenty two, and he was telling me how, like, you know, just because, like, the mud flood. And I'm, I don't know. I don't know whether mud flood is true or not. Right. So for me, I don't know, I can't call it a fact, right? Because the problem is, is that he was saying, you know, as a, uh, when a city gets built over time, they will change roads, they'll change, they'll change things so that, you know, what was once, what was once um, flat might have now have, you know, might, might now have a hill or something or, you know, I don't know. I don't know it's enough about how a, how a city exactly. is built. There's, there's enough evidence to, to, to prove that there has been mud floods. What we don't know is when and okay. why. And we can waste a lifetime theorizing, yeah. Yeah. or we can just accept the fact that there's photographic evidence of children, yeah. orphans getting onto yeah. trains and being shipped around to places to, to work, hence Oliver Twist. Have you put a lot of time into that? Adults. 
you know, where were all the adults? So yeah. there's obviously a, it's been some kind of reset, whether it was a natural reset or whether it was a man caused by the elites to, to, you know, depopulate. Who knows? But this is the beauty of theorizing. You can get really carried away and distract yourself from being focused on the main point. We're running out of time. The longer we take to wake people up, the more people are getting indoctrinated. The more people get indoctrinated, the stronger the AI and the stronger the 5G and the, the more plugged in people are going to be into this matrix of lies, what I call the globe syndrome. Where we're we screwed. think we need to explore, we think um, we, we've got insecurity because we think we're lost in space because of some big bang that's sending us around nowhere, no cause, no direction. So I like to snap people out of stuff by saying, look, we've got a cause, we've got a purpose, we're geocentric. I don't know what shape the earth is and I couldn't give a shit because maybe only the creator, whoever, whatever the creator is, maybe from above from outside you can see it but we're not going to get there so why waste so much time theorizing we might we might we might if if uh, if exploring again does his little trip like uh, you know i mean dude like they've taken a lot away from us man because to, to say that we don't we're, we're, that we'll never know i don't think that that is 100 true because the fact know. is is that shit man we're so freaking dumbed down that we you know we believe that you know, the oceans uh, only go so far and that and like, so, you know, who no one's ever really tested this crap out. Um, and, you know, if someone's crazy enough to do it, I don't think I'm going to be that person. But, um, you know, exploring again wants to do that. And uh, I think that I think that's not so it's not so crazy, man. Like, people know, it's good. It's good. We need yeah. all flavors of life to be involved. We need all areas of investigation and research to, to help us put the pieces together and see the big picture. What I'm saying is it's that we shouldn't get lost down a new rabbit hole because we've we've been indoctrinated and initiated into kind of mystery schools since we went to school. And uh, I think the whole principle behind um, the tree of knowledge um, symbol symbolically is that if you want to know, then you're going to go in that direction where sometimes you're better off not being misguided and just following the truth you know, and what yeah. is true. Well, what is true? Fire is hot, ice is cold. I can't see curvature. I can see stars twinkling with my eyes. I can confirm it with a, a camera and I can test that the moonlight's cold with a thermometer. These are self-evident truths. So just to come back on your point, please stop. And I'm not just talking to you, David. I'm talking to everyone out there. Please stop re recommending go and watch this video. Go and watch that video because you're doing something that the scientism people do you're putting people onto secondary information we should be recommending that they stop having beliefs in secondary yeah. information well, think, and that they go and get their own personal yeah. experience of observable measurable and repeatable evidence we should be recommending this easy science and and not recommending videos um, because, like I, I said, I just, recommend I think I just, a video. Yeah. People might not like Eric DeBay's yeah. accent, uh, and it yeah. might put them off yeah. the whole information because they just don't like his voice or his accent. Yeah. You're better off putting it into their hands and saying, "Look, you now know how to do these experiments." The only thing is, is I disagree. I just, I, I, I disagree with you because the thing is, is that you, the the people, like, listen, the people who are. When you go out and you talk with people, there's different levels of people. Some people are ready for that. Other people are going to need like a little baby spoon and, and get babies. I needed baby spoon. Dude, I needed it. Because when I watch the videos, right, by watching the videos, the first time I watched Eric Dubé, I was like, holy crap, man. That's a lot of a lot of things that he said that make a lot of sense to me, right? But I also was like, but I don't know. I'm going to start. So you start digging. Right. But it got me to dig. And, and so for me, like when I go out there, man, and I talk, I talk to people, I, I like, for me, I'm like lucky if like I see three people who take what I'm saying seriously out of like a hundred for the entire time that I'm out there, maybe more, like literally that few, most of the people you can see, they are, they are adamant that they live on a ball. They know they live on a ball and I have lost my mind. The guy with the missing tooth is an idiot. That's how it is. But um, maybe I've just got the gift of the gab because when yeah. I was I was out in Santa Monica and uh, La Jolla Shores about 
a year and a half ago. And I hate to say flat smacked because I'm a globe denier. But mm -hmm. yeah, I woke, I woke a lot of people up and it was quite easy because I just relate it to them. I, I'm telling you, use ge geoengineering, use the money and mention that illness and poverty, could, they could help end it. And, and, and just tell them the science. And, and even if they don't get it there and then, you've planted a seed, you've made them responsible. Instead of saying, watch a video, you're saying, you now know how to verify truth for yourself with personal experience. You don't need to believe me. I'm yeah. not asking you to believe oh, I me. Yeah. I'm only showing you how to check and verify for yourself. I'm just yeah. going to turn the light on, by the way. Yeah, no problem. Hey, just while you're here, I, I hope you can hear me. But um, I don't know if, uh, if uh, Del, I think it's Del from, if that's him, from Beyond the Imaginary Curve stopped by, which... Which is pretty cool. I, I you know, I, I just wanted to mention that because Dell is another one. Like literally, I think uh, you know, he was one of the early ones for me that I would I would watch him and I uh, I haven't seen too many of his of, of his lately, you know, out on the streets as much. But uh but man, I used to watch like video after video where he would just you know, it'd be like an hour long video, an hour that he would spend with one person too. You know, I think that actually happens to me even with groups of people too. Generally, you end up having one or two people. Hopefully, they're not uh, they're not freaking like you know out, a troll to um, to out to get you. But um, but uh, but for him, it seemed like you know anybody who was going to stick with them one on one, they weren't getting any of that any of that rise out of people. So it seemed to me like they were you know genuinely were interested in in, in chatting with him, which was pretty cool. Although I do think at the end, a few of them. Like people, he would he would say like somebody would smile or, or mock him at the end. So I was like, man, that's a lot of time. And then boom, you know, you get hit with somebody who's like, you know, um, it's all it's all tough. psychology. I mean, I, I I hate recommending movies because I know of all the subliminals, the back masking, the, um, the, the the persuasion, and like I said, the negative priming. I recommend everyone look into negative priming. It's a big thing uh, that's been used against us. But uh, I will recommend to anyone that's a little bit unsure or not that confident uh, with their social skills, watch the movie. Um, thank you for smoking. It's about 15, 10 years old or something. Yeah. It's brilliant. The guy explains how, you know, you can make someone's having an argument about ice cream. Like, do they want chocolate or vanilla? And then you just say, I'll have strawberry. And you're like, what? That wasn't on the menu. And he's like, yeah, but I've changed the arguments. So you've got to use reverse psychology because it's been used on us. Um, you've got to uh, use subliminals whenever you're posting something. Make sure you re repeat words that you want to stick. Uh, oh, no. But don't you think the truth is good enough, man? Seriously? Like for me, like, I, and by the way, the reason why I say that too is that like, dude, most people aren't ready. They're not, you know, not yet. And, but they, you know, when they will get ready, when like, when we get to the, maybe, possibly in my mind, is when like two or three of their own friends, their own little clique of group of people start getting it and asking, and you know, and like when more of those people uh, get there, either that or maybe they'll just not have their, they'll just stop being their friend too. Cause I don't, have you, have, what is your situation with your friends? Like, uh, and your family? Uh, and if you don't mind me asking, how, like how, it took a long time, but I finally um, got through to my parents. It's it's been two and a half years, but they've um, they've seen me stick to it, and I've I've given. And that, I know what you're saying. It's as if like no matter how much evidence you show some people for how long, they don't seem to get it, and they will need one of their idols or one of their authorities to come clean. It seems, or they will need some of the friends that they respect um, in their circles to, to say it. So we've just got to keep cracking on, like with the ice pick, yeah? You see a crack, hammer hard. And I'll tell everyone out there this as well. You might not win every battle, but you can learn from every battle to help win the war. So online activism especially, every time you have a good discussion, copy it and use it as a in your notepad so you can paste it whenever you get that same question in the future um, you really have to think smart and I know what you're saying the truth should be enough but we're against a very very strong long indoctrination and uh, we're constantly being um, manipulated manipulated and, and mm. even people that are woke 
are still under some layers of sleep because we're all still waking up to different things. And even when you're awake, you can end up forgetting what you know or being distracted onto other things, or you just forget the seri how serious it is. But I'll look at it like this, Dave. Um, if we can pretty much verify that the space race was a lie, then that means that so were the wars and we're just pawns. So before they have a World War Three or an alien invasion, which will distract us with a lot of destruction and very mm. negative outcome, I think we need to hurry up because we're racing against the clock here, guys. There's no time to chill. I do feel that way too, but uh, it feels well, good. It's whatever. <laughs> when you say we're racing against the clock, I don't even feel like we're racing that much right now either. It should be. No one, that's what I'm saying. People have lost their um, survival instincts. And that's because of all the, the propaganda that we're exposed to. I mean, I, I don't want to upset anybody, but you've only got to look on television as an agenda. Um, you can see why most of the presenters are leaning one way. And it's to, it's to cause the public to like be, I say, very submissive, passive, and it's to suggest us emotions and feelings that might not have come to a, our sexuality uh, normally. So we're being programmed and conditioned all the time to be soft, to be uh, to be lukewarm. And, you know, when you see how serious this stuff is, and that's why geoengineering helps, I'll keep reminding people because repetition is the best, best way of mind control. Uh, geoengineering does get people to see the seriousness pretty quick. Um, what was I going to say? Sorry. Uh, Sorry. I was going to ask, do you have any, do you have any plans to go out again soon on on for activism? Yeah, man. I'm. Um, <laughs> do you do you and do you always record or do you only record occasionally or or what, record what occasionally? But I got um I got a nice wad of flyers there for people to see. You know, I'm prepared. Uh -huh. I'm going around and I'm just dropping them off to people. Um, like if I see a, sh a few shops or, or a few bars. Uh, all in this close proximity. I'll park my car and I'll just go and jump a few up. Why not? You know. Um, another thing I want to mention to people too for activism is that, like, uh, I, you know, I just bring out, like, for now, I have business cards that say uh, I, I, I go, I, I direct them to flatearth101.com. But real fast, everybody, I just put Howard George, Howard George Stirrups. Uh, that's his YouTube channel. That's who we're talking with right now. Uh, his link, uh, you know, so you can go subscribe to him. He, but he does, it's pretty nice too, like where you go. It's actually visually like, uh, where you know, a few of your videos when you're at the beach and stuff. It's like just relaxing seeing that atmosphere. Um, but um, I, must, I must admit, I've got it really good. Where where the beach is, there's um, a town along the coast that's uh, directly uh, 20 miles uh, in distance. And because the way the coast curves, we can see the buildings in the daytime and we can see the street lights along the beachfront 20 miles away. Oh, that's really cool. At night. So I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm saying to people, hey, if you're not sure about these buildings now that you've seen them in the daytime, come and look at the street lights along the beachfront at night. And you can see that there isn't 80 meters drop yeah. like there's supposed to be. So even if the earth isn't flat, which I'm not bothered about, you have to keep yeah. putting that in there. You're not bothered about the shape. You're bothered about the deception. And you can say, look, there isn't the drop that we're told, so we're being lied to about the dimensions of Earth. And that means that we're being lied to about the situation of Earth, because all the measurements to each star can be disproved by a camera with a good lens, and blah, 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 your moon, you can test with the thermometer. It's just so easy and quick to tell people the science. Stop recommending videos. I really recommend it, because yeah. it just shows, it makes you look like you've got beliefs in a video. Where if you tell people the science, but that's not true. But that's not true. Your personal but, experience, your senses, and your I disagree. Interest. I disagree because think, okay. because think, because I, I like doing it. I, I don't. I don't see myself changing because there's so like. But, but what I tell people is is don't believe our word or say. Don't believe what you watch. Like, get introduced to a new concept, and then you know it's up to you to figure like. Be critical of it for a change rather than what they didn't tell us at school, which was here's the information. Now here's a test on it. And you're you're smart if you freaking agree with everything that we, you know, if you can recite everything we just told you. So, you know, like there's a lot of things that when I learned Flat Earth, I was like, 
I actually um, was like, uh, almost like, wait a second, I can't believe in the flat earth anymore because like, the sun going setting was like, that's some, like, I could not get around the sun being far enough away and in, in the sky, you know what I mean? Uh, up in the sky and being far enough away that you're not going to see it. And still, I still have problems with that one, man. I mean, I don't well, know about you, but I, I'll, I give, you, I'll, give, you, I'll give you two. Um, I'll tell you about the sun and the moon, but I've, I've got to disagree with you and tell you why I'm certain that you're wrong with all due respect. If we were talk, if we were having this conversation two years ago, I would give you complete, complete reason. I'd be like, yeah, recommend these videos, recommend that. Mm -hmm. But now we're talking about now. Yep. You, you said yourself, you searched flat earth or you searched Tierra Plana in Spanish. And the first 10 to 20 results you're going to get is yeah. proof that it can't be flat. Right. And then the next 10, 20 results are going oh, to be the oh, oh, wait, wait, oh, we're missing, we're misunderstanding one another. I'm, what I'm saying is when I go out, that's why I direct them to flatearth101.com because mm -hmm. on it, you're going to get, you know, I'm directing them to a source where there's some, at least like we're managed, like that's where I think we have, and that's where I was getting at was that if we can manage if like when we go out there and actually be able to show people and bring, bring them to the place where the information is, which is now, which is why I permit, uh, I promote like flat earth 101.com. I don't know if you've ever been to that website, but yeah. Um, it's, yeah, he, he does a good, good job. David Gessner. It's all good. It's all good. But you know yourself, you've only got to speak close to your Alexa or your phone and uh, you, you can mention something and then 10 minutes later you get a pop-up or, or an advertisement for that product. So right. as we know that Big Brother's watching and listening and as we know the search results are uh, m messed with and as we know it's so easy to find other information that might contradict with uh, what we've been shown that, but we like it more, I recommend do the science. But that's where we disagree. But I, I yeah. understand where you're coming from if we were two years ago. I've yeah. got loads of videos that I could recommend, but yeah. uh, now I'm totally against recommending videos for the point that there's control, um, censoring, and it makes us look like we're believers and preachers where we really should be sh teaching, not preaching, teaching how to but do science. Yeah. Just but to answer you, yeah. I forget, Dave. Yeah. You know you asked about the sun and the moon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who, who says they're physical? Oh, right. Well, yeah, I mean... Who says they're physical? They could be fourth-dimensional... Yeah. Um, well, you have to, don't you? Of them, and they might not respect the laws of. Well, the, of course, the, the don't you, you have to believe that. If you have, you ha like that was one of the biggest hurdles for me was, um, if the Earth isn't a ball, then how is the sun and the moon going around in circles above our heads? And it took me a long time to go. Wait a second, if that's what they're supposed to do in this place that we exist, then that's what they're going to do. Like. You know, I used to always have to have, I was clinging on to the gravity as a reason for how that happens. So, yeah, but, but, but with what you're, um, yeah. So anyhow, uh, yeah. You can talk, you can talk about facts. You, you can say, how can the moon be physical yeah. if we can see stars behind it? And there's yeah. so much evidence and people can make the observation for themselves when it, when it's in the blue sky, especially. Uh, you can sometimes see stars shining through the moon. So it's obviously not solid. I've heard that. I haven't seen it myself. Have you seen that yourself yet or not? Yeah, man. It's you beautiful. have? Wow, that's crazy. I'll have to look um, more they're often. They're not so obvious always. Sometimes they're just little bright points. And you're like, hold on, why is that bright? It's because it's a star behind it. I have a, uh, I have a, P, a P900 too. So I really... like. There's just not enough time in the day to freaking do all this stuff, man. Um, I guess there might be soon if I if I get my stuff together. But uh, um, it's yeah, like you know those little things. Help. You've done great, and you need to have a little break every now and then to not burn out. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah, happy. I took a good break myself. I'm happy we're doing this video because I'm pretty sure that some of the things we're coming up with tonight are going to inspire people to go and give it a shot. And I, for one, and I'm sure uh, Dave will too, if you guys make a good video that we're proud of, I would happily mirror it and promote you on my Facebook and on my YouTube. I've got no, no pride. I'm not trying to get followers for myself. I'm trying to get people to follow my example. Well, uh, yeah, and, and the other thing is, though, is that you, your work, dude, like, it does, like, when people see this, the, when, the, when the person who's into, like, they're going to find themselves, if they're drawn to it, 
you're going to end up inspired. I can't tell you. I've had people literally tell me now that I was one of the people who helped get them to go out. And like, that's pretty cool because Roxanne and Dell and Harry and uh, Dave, uh, you know, Trinity Four. Um, yeah. I'm missing people too. Oh, uh, Authentic Intent. Those were the people who like two years, it took me about I, two years ago, I was watching them. And then it took me a year. I was watching for a year at least uh, before I was like, all right, now I want, you know, I guess it took a while for me to actually accept this stuff too. But, um, you know, all those people, I'm like, yeah, man, you're, you're the one, you're the one, you're the one. Eric Dubay though, you know, those people too, I think all of them, it's a combined, it wasn't just the activism, but the activism people are the people who I was like, oh, I, I, I can do that, I think. And I want to do that. And it looks fun. Like going out there, I like a little bit of controversy and when, when uh, you know, people are, uh, uh, and not only the, the controversy, but connecting. When you connect with somebody who, who is wondering, you know, I don't know about you, but man, for me, for a long time when I was young, I was like, why, why are there wars? Like, why, why? Are, like, I could never figure that out. Like, how, how can you be a little kid and not and understand and then you become old and you accept it? You know what I mean? Like. Little kids know like war is ridiculous, crazy. Um, yeah, so um, I don't know where I was going. Oh I, oh, I know where I was going. I just want to mention this. Are you familiar with Flat Earth Hollywood Live? Mm -hmm. Flat Earth Hollywood Live. He used to he would, he used to go out with um he's uh, Dan the Waterman also is his channel of everybody. But um I'm gonna put his his link in here too. Flat Earth Hollywood Live, man. He's been kicking ass. He goes out on the boardwalk in California not the boardwalk in, uh, you know, at the beach or wherever they go in, uh, in California. And, um, he's been going out there and, you know, and doing, uh, and flat, flat earth activism. And he's, he's been putting out a lot of videos and stuff. And I'm telling you, he, he, he has an interesting way, you know, he puts on the, uh, he puts on the white, uh, scientist jacket. And then he kind of puts on a show for people too. He has a bunch of different models and things like that. So I, I you know, he, he does a good job. This um, is to get people's attention. Oh, is is yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, and, um, yeah. it works. And I'll um, I have to say that we've got um, we've got people where people like myself. I used to suffer I, most of my life. I've suffered anxiety. You wouldn't think it now. Um, and the biggest anxiety I always had was when I went up to a hot girl, and I didn't know what to talk about. So for all you guys out there and girls that want to approach um, somebody that looks attractive, I, I recommend talk to them about the global eyes and the geoengineering because I found it's no sweat and I've got I no nerves to chat a girl when I'm not thinking about sex, sex, and how do I please her, how do I make her laugh, when I'm not doing all the stereotype nonsense that we've been programmed to think girls want or vice versa. When you actually go up to someone with something that you want to deliver, a message that you want to get across, the jokes will come naturally. The, um, the, the conversation will happen and you'll end up making a friend and who knows what else. So forget Tinder and get out there and wake people up to the global lies and the geoengineering. I, I agree with you, man. I wish better friends. I would have saved myself a lot of drunken nights and, um, <laughs> and, and misery and headaches and expense. Yeah, man, hundred percent. It is so much easier to talk to. Like, well, I mean, it's it's and it's not just like chicks. It's literally not just chicks, anybody. Like, yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like any. It's so much more. And what's really sad is you also see how people are so conditioned to not even want to talk to other people now. They like, oh, what's this guy want from me? What's he? You know, what do you do? <laughs> you know, you, I don't know if you ever get that, but you know, sometimes I'm, I'll just be like, hey, you you know how fast we're spending right now? Like, I'll say that out of the blue. And you can tell that the person doesn't want to have anything to do with you. Uh, they're, you know, it doesn't always happen. Sometimes that people dive right in, you know. But you know, people I think are, are really. I think it's, a, it's a great approach. I've I've seen lots of your videos where you where you go up to people and say that, and it's brilliant because it's uh, it's true. It's like you cannot feel any movements, and you cannot measure or prove it. So why do you believe it? It's secondary information. It's brilliant. You're dropping that on, and you've got to tell people if they start laughing at you. Hey, hey, I, I believe my, the the things I've verified for myself. You're a believer. You're, you've yeah. got to turn it on people. If they're going to be nasty to you, don't be nasty, but just point out that hey, 
you're not upsetting me. You're not offending yeah. me because you're actually talking about yourself. You're the believer. Um, so, so you really have to use reverse psychology on people because they're programmed to, to do it on you. Um, uh... May I just throw one in, Dave? Yeah. I, I really recommend, uh, as well to keep your viewers entertained, but also I find a brilliant way to get people to think is say, hey, what's the fastest rocket or what's the fastest spacecraft that we've got? Because an aeroplane uh, goes about 700 miles an hour. So I imagine a military plane might go, I don't know, 10 times faster, let's say 10,000 miles an hour. So how fast could a rocket or a spacecraft go? Because Earth's orbit is 66,000 miles an hour. And to get back to Earth, if we've landed on the moon or landed mm -hmm. on Mars, we need to go faster than Earth's orbit to accelerate back to it. Maybe and maybe we're in a cocoon. Maybe that it's a cocoon within a cocoon. I'm only well, kidding. People, <laughs> people say, oh, the inertia, don't you get yeah. it? And I'm like, hold on. I'm not talking about the speed that the sun is uh, orbiting the Milky Way. That's yeah. another 500,000 uh, miles an hour. Well, let's just pretend that doesn't exist and that we're being pulled along with the sun. I'm asking about the inertia, the gravity of Earth. We've left it. We've flown away from it. Yeah. So to get back to it is one thing, but to take off from a surface I like the moon oh, I have something or with. Mars means we've got to take off with no combustion in a vacuum. It check this out. But wait, wait, check this out, though. We pile through it, no thrustable friction. How do we get there? All right, check this out now, because isn't it funny, too, that we bring up like vacuum, like we know there's a vacuum up there, or the, or the moon, like we know that the moon is actually... 200,000 miles, 240,000. Like, so I was thinking about the other day and I was like, wait, we say that the moon is close, right? So what if the moon is really 50 miles up in the sky? What if there really is no vacuum in space? Does that change the logistics of getting to the moon? You know what I mean? Like, because like, uh, who's to say that, you know, they're not full of shit on all the other crap. Like, in fact, I imagine they are. Um, you it's, know, it's, I, it's circular reasoning. They use it in evolution a lot. They say, oh, the strata dates the fossils. And you're like, well, how do you date the strata? Um, well, the fossils date the strata. It's circular reasoning. It's, uh, it's terrible. And we've got to realize when it's happening so that we can uh, throw it back on them and say, hey, do you realize what you're doing? You, you, you're just contradicting yourself because that's what they're doing all the time. Yeah, it's all. Well, it's really it's, it's just crazy how much uh, how much stuff you have to be careful I always use what they either facts that I know that okay. from personal experience or yeah. use what they say against them. Yeah. So I say, supposedly we're going 66,000 miles around the sun. So how have we got back to earth if we don't have a rocket that can go even 20, 30,000 miles uh, an hour and they can't answer it. So they begin the circular uh, reasoning and uh, that's where you get people. You've got to catch them out when they do it. I'm trying to think. Earth what else. rotates at 24,000 miles an hour, not 66,000. Well, uh, we're not talking about the rotation. We're talking and about rotation uh, around the. Miles. We're talking yeah. about it around the. Uh, our, 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 yeah, rotation around the sun, Orbit. not our Orbit. rotation around ourselves. Yeah. Um, that's 24,000. I guess that would make sense. Um, what was it going to? Is, oh, is it 24,000? I don't even know. It's, no, it's a thousand miles spin at the Yeah, equator. it's a thousand miles an hour. Yeah. There you go. Orbit and 495,000 mile um, around the Milky Way. It's it's ridiculous. You would think I'd know that. I've only said it like a million times. <laughs> and, and, and yet, the, and yet the zodiac, the constellations have never disfigured. I always remind people: Scorpio still has the uh, claws. Aquarius hasn't dropped any water, and Orion hasn't put any well, or lost any weight since the Egyptians, the Aztecs, and the Mayans made the calendars. Yeah. Representing the same yeah. Position. So somebody, somebody see. told me too that uh, I forget, and I like this, but I don't have. I, 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 um, I really should look it up. But uh, like, there's ancient pyramids and stuff that line up, like with a little window, and you can see a particular star. Yeah, you know that. And uh, yeah, even that one, like pyramids of Giza, the three pyramids of Giza are in alignment with Orion's belt. So I always say they were built in alignment. They're still in alignment, and he hasn't put any weight on. So nothing's moving. We can prove it with with historical evidence. Ten thousand roughly years old. We've got a 
ceiling uh, monument in Egypt, in Demora, wherever it's called, Deremora. And there's the Egyptian and Aztec calendars that were carved in stone. So what are we talking about? And then you yeah. say, do you believe in math? And they say, yes, well, you're like, well, check the math and go and make your own observation at water level. Just do it. Um, two, a couple of things while they're on my mind. Um, you know, all right, I'm gonna, I want to go back to this real quick, just because do you think, I, I, I'm thinking sometimes we're like, like the, as a community, we, we like, you know, have you ever heard the saying, be careful how you don't, you don't open your mind up so much that your brain falls out, right? Have you heard that? Yeah. Because um, I heard, I, I, you know, there was, I, I was chatting with some people and, um, uh, hey, reason to stay flat. He's joined us. I just want to say hi to him. I was, ch I was chatting with some people who are, you know, in flat earth and activism and other things, right? And, uh, you know, we brought up the, uh, there's a video out there that was floating around. There's a couple things like the whole transgender. And then also um, there was one that was talking about uh, gorillas and, and orangutans being a hoax. Have you seen that? Have you heard about that? No. So, so there was like literally people that I know who are, you know, who are cool with flat earth. Right. And they were chatting seriously about, you know, what are the possibility of this being true? And I kind of like cracked up, like it's bad because I, I haven't, I hadn't done a lot of investigation, but I'm like, I can remember I, I've gone to a zoo and shit, you know, I, and, 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 you know, I feel like I've seen enough like widespread videos, not just from National Geographic, you know, of these, of these animals to, to, to think that they're real. Right. So uh, I, I was chatting with them and they're like, no, man, there's a lot of evidence. There's, you know, then there's a photo of like, there's what brought this on was there's a photo. And it looks like there's a human finger like sticking out of like this, out of this orangutan, right? So I said, but what about babies? I, have you ever seen baby gorillas and stuff? Because they're telling me like literally like these are people dressed up in suits. But the, now wait, the reason why I'm bringing this up, I was just hang on. It, and so I was like, what about the babies? And they're like midgets. And I like lost my mind. I started laughing hysterically. But this, it scares me a little bit. It's like uh, I was also talking with um, another person about, and this goes along the same line, the, um, the uh, no jet fuel theory for, for planes, which to me, not knowing very much, I, it's hard for me to comprehend having that much weight. But I spoke to a guy who's in the military and he's like, Dave, I, you know, I filled these planes up. I, I, I've crawled on the inside of the wings. They carry a tremendous amount of blah, 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 blah. He started really becoming compelling that it sounds like, you know. But what scares me is that, we're not scared. Yeah, it concerns me is that, you know, if, you know, if we can have people that, you know, are saying the earth is flat, start moving, going down these tangents that to me are, I mean, it's almost we, scary. We might lose credibility. And also, um, even if there's truth to these claims, you've got to question, well, what relevance have they got? at the moment you know looking at the bigger picture is the orangutan thing as important as the amount of money that's going to waste the psychological effects on, on yeah. being lost but i mean regardless of but regardless because everybody has their own uh, you know beliefs of what's important there's a lot of people out there who are like abortion you're worrying about whether the earth's flat meanwhile they're killing little babies get your freaking priorities straight dude how do I argue with that, right? Well, I say to people, look, because everybody's got globe syndrome and the Big Bang uh, makes us all materialistic, we don't realize the spiritual and emotional. I agree. I agree. I was just using, yes. Yeah. I was yeah, just yeah. using it for example. I know, I know. I'm just giving it to people that are getting yeah. that themselves. You've got yeah. to remind people that this is a, the biggest part of the puzzle. You know, the evolution helps justify dinosaurs, which helps justify the Big Bang, which helps justify the globe. And it just keeps us in this big uh, matrix of lies where we just don't see the truth is right in front of us. So we've got to focus on the big picture, what matters at the moment to get us to move forward. And, and that is like getting enough people to demand that the authority so, show some transparency in the spending. And so, I don't know if we'll ever cough up, but we can at least cut the funding, surely. So let me ask you though. So so now, with that in mind, what I just mentioned about you know the, about the gorillas and and orangutans. I mean, you pro you probably have to look into it to really give it a real opinion. But you, maybe you don't. You know what I mean? Maybe you know already. I don't know. But my question is, and this is what I'm saying though, is that 
you know, it makes me concerned, like when you when you get a reasonable explanation for why the airplane hoax is not true um, and you buy that, um, you know, did you ever get that feeling with with uh, with with the earth being flat or you are uh, like you are certain beyond certainty that uh, that, you know, something and that you're you're you, you know the, it's it, you're, you're you're just certain like you know what i mean do you ever like i still i think occasionally man i'm like w like when i hear people that i'm going out with like I, i'll i you know go out and do this stuff or who i think are very reasonable in terms of why they believe the earth is flat and then they turn around and they're telling me that you know orangutans are fake i'm like oh shit man like i'm not i'm not with you on that little trip and but I'm with you on this other trip. Are we missing something? Like, is that you know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to like undermine anything, but uh... it's overwhelming, and that's why I keep warning people: be careful with the data overload. Only um, 20 years ago, we didn't even have mobile phones. Never mind internet held mobile mobile phones. So where we've gone from being reading books and watching a bit of television. And yeah. spending the rest of the day socializing with real people now we're building that much profiles and um we're, we're spending that much time in the virtual reality and we're being entertained and distracted with notifications like doctors used to have beepers and we always used to say doctors get stressed because they're always getting beeped we're worse than that now and we're looking at it as if it's normal and there's a new level of depressions anxiety and um like I say, the attention span of people is getting ridiculously low because of all the stimulation that we're getting used to on a regular basis. So it's uh, it's just cause and effect, I think. Okay. So, but so the, I guess the, uh, the short answer though is you're pretty you don't you don't have any any, any second thoughts on my, my my thought is be careful with data overload yeah. because it will be overwhelming. You're going to end up having a breakdown from all the conspiracies, mm -hmm. all the questions all the doubts just stick to what you can prove and that yeah. is that fire is hot water is wet ice is cold water there's always no, finds its level there's, there's no water level uh, yeah. stars are close moonlight is uh, yeah. cold during the wanning phase and you can see half a moon in the east when the sun's in the west or vice versa have you tested that yourself by any chance have you done that i haven't done that yet i really yeah. need to do the moonlight I've done them all. I've done them all because I wouldn't put it on a fly and I wouldn't put my face to it unless I'd yeah. done it. Yeah. And that's why I'm saying we've got to spend less time on YouTube and more time doing the science to, to verify for ourselves. Because if you've done an experiment, when you go and talk to people, it yeah. will resonate in your yeah. talk and people will hear that conversation. And people challenge you. People people challenge you and they're like, well, have you done that? And you're and then you can be like, yeah, bitch, I have done that. Sorry, I don't mean to be an asshole. But yeah, yeah, you just reminded me when you said about baby feeding people. And I wanted to say before, and I was like, no, nah, man, when a baby's born, what does a doctor have to do? Yeah. Wake up, wake up. And that's yeah. what we got to do now. Yeah. Yeah. Zombies are real. Zombies are freaking real. Hey, what's the state in, um, uh, here, let me look in Spain real fast. Let's see. See, hopefully like, uh, like how many people do you bump into in Spain uh, that are like, yo, man, I'm with you on the flat earth. I don't, I, I don't know if you can, if you watch here, but I'll, I'm bringing up the flat earth people finder. And right now in Spain, there is uh, nobody. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, is Barcelona? Yeah, Barcelona. We nice. got Renato. Cool. And, and Valdez Salas. We have Daniel. Uh, but that's it. And then Portugal has a few people. But um, but what is it like in your in your in your estimation? I guess what is your uh, feeling as to like uh, people's awake level in terms of uh, not only flat Earth but also like freaking government? You know, I guess we'll we'll stick to flat Earth since you want to stay on top of that. Globe lie. I don't like flat Earth. Um... Oh, oh, globe lie. <laughs> yes, I'll use that. I don't know what shape the earth is. I only know, like I said, that fire is hot, that there isn't curve. So, yeah, I know that the globe is alive. Um, motionless earth, maybe. Spain. What do you think about motionless? Could be. Geocentric. And, uh, Geocentric, the, yep. Um, the, the nice thing is, two and a half years ago, 
the reason I got a bit of spotlight was because I went on to Spanish television and I offered 10,000 euros for proof of curvature at water, sea level. Uh, actually, that was 1,000 I put on Facebook. No one took much notice, so I, I managed to get a camera crew to record me offering 10,000. And that got mirrored in Argentina. It got mirrored uh, by a guy in Madrid. And I've put up to nearly a million views in all the different accounts. And that how did was you get, Wait, how many? A million views? About a million views on on YouTube. Um, I also got on, um, like I say, this is because I was on Spanish national television. It's on my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm getting interviewed in Spanish. And I'm offering 10,000 two years ago. And to date... I haven't received any counter evidence to what my observations are. So that kind of tells me even money can't inspire some people to go and do the experiment for themselves. <laughs> but, but two years on, I've just gone and done a, a do, an event at the local town hall park where the, um, the international day um, was celebrated with different cuisines and I went to represent England. Now I'm vegan, so I can't do fish and chips. I just took a little bit of fruit so that I could get in and add a tiny table of fruit, a big table of globe, lie and geoengineering, factual, reproducible evidence. And I was explaining how people can do the experiments and they're giving out the flyers and out of a hundred, maybe more than a hundred, but let's just say out of a hundred conversations, mm -hmm. only one, one person laughed at me. Only All one. right. So with now, that that's said, a lot, that's a lot better than two years ago. That's my point. Yeah. We're getting there. Well, maybe I'm you're just meeting a lot nicer people. Maybe you're just meeting nicer people than me. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm just messing with you. I'm just <laughs> finding that a lot of people are awoke, but they they don't see this how serious it is yet yeah, or yeah. the people are woke but they're too embarrassed to say something because of all the negative priming and all the deflection and the humor that's used on television to demote us from doing our own inquiries um hang with me one second a reason i don't know if you know a reason to stay flat but um a reason to stay flat channel i'm just going to put his link in there too uh he was just he was just leaving us he, he just he just he was hanging out with us for a little while here um but he's been He's been doing flat earth activism in, um, in uh, Las Vegas. So, you know, just so people, I like to like, I don't know. I think it's good just, you know, to kind of spread these, the, the word around on everybody because uh, um, uh, let's see. I don't know if he's still here. Oh, he is. So here's his, uh, here's his channel. He can, and by the way, if anybody wants to link this stuff while we're chatting, you can always link anything. And by the way, this is uh, Howard George Stirrup, right? Yep. That we're chatting with, um, and he's out in Spain, and um, and he goes anti, anti New World Order. I used to be a Freemason, and then uh, when I got to the master um, third degree, I um, found so much stuff on flat Earth, and I realised that the globe was a lie when I did my own experimentation. Because, like you said, Dave, I wasn't sure until I went and made my own observations. So that's the first thing I recommend to people now. Um, but I, I quit Masonry. Um, for the simple fact that the grand architect of the universe is a deceiver because the universe isn't what we've been taught. So I had to leave masonry um, because I couldn't allow myself to continue being part of something that might be behind this. Although every mason that I know, um, I'm still friends with. I've got no problem with the people that I've met. I just um, I worry for them because you're you're performing uh, traditions that you don't understand, and the rituals might have a lot more meaning than we know. And uh, as we don't know, it's called blind faith. And I think we should all be very careful because if the secret there's uh, manipulation, and we know that just from having more degrees and more degrees and finding out different things as we were supposed to be going up. So. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not against Freemasons as persons. I was a Freemason, and I, uh, I'm happy it got me to where I am now. I just hope yeah. that there's not big spiritual implications, like I've sold my soul and stuff by taking oaths, because I wasn't really aware of what I was getting into, and I'm still not 
aware of what exactly is going on there. Dude, the Freemasonry is so creepy, man. It's everywhere. There mm. is a Freemason freaking G with the with the compass and the and the square is it? Uh, right, literally half a mile from my house on the road. It's a blue sign, dude. And when we moved here, like it, we were like, I don't think, yeah, that was like six, seven years ago. I was I was pretty much dead asleep. But it's still like we would see it, and I would it, like it didn't register, you know. But now I see it, and I just want to chop down the sign. Like I'm just not a big fan of. I, I don't like. I don't like it. I think people are being used as useful idiots. Like in in that group. Like you know, they get the dummies. It's like the, it's like war, it's like the war machine. You know, you get a bunch of people who are who are young and stupid, and you get them to go kill each other for money. And not and not only money, but you know, for fear and if, if wars are even real, that is, I guess. It's it's so it's very very intelligent the way that they um, write everything. It's very poetic, and romantic. Because I was looking for a spirituality. I was looking for discipline because I'd grown up, you know, being a bit of one of the lads, as we say in England. And I've I've been a bit of a drinker. I've done a few drugs and stuff. And um, I thought, you know, I need to straighten myself out. And I've always been looking for the religion I, I wasn't i've read half the quran i've read um, the corpus de mexico I've, i'm reading the bible and um, i'll read into more things but i couldn't dedicate myself to a church and i couldn't find a faith in particular so when i heard that freemasonry was all about you know being open-minded and uh, accepting people from different places you know the, the way it's Maybe it was originally invented for a good reason, um, and maybe the first three degrees were, were, were okay, but I believe that there's been some kind of infiltration, and it's been taken to somewhere else. Or well, maybe it was designed for that reason in the first place. I don't know. History's his story. All I know is um, it's, it's definitely misleading people because uh, they're talking about earth spinning on its axis and, and, and space and stuff. Were you, uh, were you, were you a, a Christian or a Catholic? What was your, were you a religious no, before, the, before you, before you joined? That's the point. I couldn't choose a religion. So uh, I thought well, that was like a, a uh, way to be religious and spiritual without the dogma. Have but you now, become, have you become now? Now you are now like, you like, are you with the Bible? Are you Christian? Do you consider somebody, you, if you don't mind me asking? I, I am still reading the Bible, yeah. but I read it with a very, very cautious mind that yeah. we know that every Bible, uh, well, just the Bible in English, you know, there you go. It wasn't written in English, so it's been translated. And then there's different translations in English, and then there's different versions. You know, there's the King James, there's the New, uh, there's, the, there's the Catholic version, there's so many different versions yeah. Man. So which which one's right? If if one of them's right, I believe there's truth to everything. But I'm aware that um, it could have been put together, or it could have been um, in what do you call it, a muted mutated along the way. So I I just try and get something out of it because even um, sometimes even reading the propaganda or the lies, mm -hmm. you can maybe understand the reason behind them when you figured it out. So. You can learn from everything, but I, I do recommend to everybody be careful because there's some things you don't want to learn about. And that's like that blood drinking and um, sacrifice, sacrificing and pedophilia stuff that a lot of the big elites are into that they're trying to make more and more normalized throughout mainstream now. They're pushing perversion hard, aren't they, recently? Have you noticed that it's so easy for children to get hold of pornography and... Um, and anything else that's perverted, they just go on the internet and they can look at brutal fights, porn, this, that, the other. There's no control. And is there maybe a reason behind that? Because they like us to be perverted and you know, they want us to become addicts because then they can dangle the yeah. materialism or the perversion in front of us and guide yeah. us and keep us hooked. So I, I recommend to everyone, be careful what you ingest. Because even music, since the Beatles, we've been known that there's backmasking in there, but we still listen to it and whistle away. We need to be a bit more responsible and wake up more because we're still under a lot of layers of um, of lies and, and manipulation. Yeah. Um, true that, man. With the, mani with the manipulation. It's like crazy. Uh, it's frightening. 
It's also funny when I'll, I'll, I'll start hearing something and, and like going back to my old ways sometimes and I'll be like, oh my gosh, I'm like actually literally like falling back asleep uh, momentarily. Um, hmm. I'm glad you mentioned religion though, because I can approach, I, I've been to India where I met Hindus and I could relate them to it. I, I went to Egypt uh, before that, I could relate to the Muslims. I went to Myanmar, which I prefer to call Burma because the people are Burmese and they want to be Burmese. And they're like, uh, you could say Buddhists. And everywhere I went, I can relate to people and say, the creator mm -hmm. is a lot closer to us. Well, if you believe in nature, if you're not religious, you just believe in energy and nature. Well, guess what? The energy is here and it's not going anywhere. And when you die, your energy does transform. It doesn't get left behind from the spinning ball, you know? And, yeah. and you can relate to spiritual people and religious people so easy because, let's be honest, who wants to be an insignificant piece of sand in an infinite universe? Even if you don't want to believe in spirituality and religion, guess what? The aliens might be a lot closer on extra terrain, extraterrestrials. Come on, we can relate this to everybody's interest. It's, uh, it's beautiful. And we've just got to try and think out of the box. We're not trying to beat somebody in a debate. We're tr trying to come to an agreement. So if you can't get somebody to see that the water is always level and that stars are close and that moonlight chills and it doesn't match up with the reflection, mm -hmm. um, then at least turn around and give them the geoengineering. I, I get on women real good. I say, hey, baby. <laughs> I'm joking. I say, mm -hmm. uh, or in England, oh, darling. Um, and, mm -hmm. and I'll say, to the look, lady, it, do you know why the moon has phases of illumination? And she'll be like, no. And I'll be like, because every month there's a new moon in your belly. Yeah. So there's a lunar cycle. It's feminine. It's a negative. It's a feminine energy. And they're like, oh. And all of a sudden they're thinking about their menstrual system. Yeah. Menstrual system. That's and, pretty and interesting. Just, That's too like, sneaky, though, man. That's so underhanded. No, I'm just kidding. Around. Because you are, you're really messing with their, uh, with the, what they're thinking about at that point. Hey, they're messing with our, they're messing with our emotions. Yeah. yeah. So you're breaking through. Yeah. So you have to do what you got to do. I just lost you for a second. You there? I'm here, baby. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's interesting. I like that. That's a good way to um to break to br to not to ha to break the trance, so to speak. You know, relate um, relate it to their interests. Yeah. Oh shit. I I just uh, hold on one second. I just lost my video that I wanted to have up. Um, no biggie. Uh, I, I was gonna ask you. Do you have to worry about like uh, I'm not working right now, right? So I'm pretty like lucky in that you know I don't have like you know. I, I'm very critical of, uh, oh, people should do this, that, and the other thing. Meanwhile, they're like, well, dude, if I talk and the next thing you know, they're going to lose their job. All right, do you have any concerns about for yourself in terms of people finding out who you are, what you do, and what you believe, or you don't care, or you're free of that concern? I've made a lot of mistakes in my life, and uh, I'd like to dedicate this part of it in trying to make up for some of them mistakes. Um I know that if I don't, and no one else in my area has been, then the world isn't going to be around for that long. Like I say, I look at the earth, I look at the, our world like a, a clock, because you've only got to think, um, earth is the face of the clock that tells the actual time in real time. Whatever we do influences uh, the next generation because things will be in a different position. So where everything is right now is the time we're at. Now, from above, if you're looking down, you can see that the sun tells the hour of the day, tells the day. The moon tells the month. The stars tell the season. And the sun also tells the year. So like I say, the earth is a clock. It's also ticking along keeping a beat which we can see throughout the waves like you mentioned about lakes oceans lakes rivers and streams that are all connected with little streams have all got waves now a lot of people don't know that but man-made ponds don't have any wave where lakes that are connected somehow with streams to rivers that are connected to the sea they conduct the current 
yeah? So Earth, which is an anagram for the heart, right. which is a, the old ticker, which looks like a clock from above, which does keep the time, yeah? Saturn, Kronos, and all that, they're the timekeepers. But they might govern this land, but to all them uh, loving uh, Sat Saturn, <laughs> Saturn worshippers, the Satanists and the Luciferians that love their little morning star light bearer, just remember, they might govern this land, but they didn't create it. So be a little bit more humble and think of the bigger picture, because negative vibes that are drawing us down, the materialism is a downward spiral, like an acid and a battery. All that negativity isn't going to be recycled when there's a big reset. So either we're going to get reset and we want to be back in, so try and do your best now. Or we can maybe stop this uh, from all going wrong because I'm looking at it as maybe the world will come to an end if everybody gets this mono vision, one eye vision, that we just follow and believe what we're programmed to, where if there's independent expression and we're all healthy, maybe we can keep this big clock, this big uh, ecosystem running because back to the water, yes, we can see the beats throughout the waves visually. We can see just like we've got bl uh, blue and red veins and arteries, we've got um, hot and cold uh, cycles, what do you call them, in the circulation in the ocean, jet streams. And we've got um, salt water and fresh water, which is like the oxygenated blood and the unoxygenated blood. And then we can relate uh, the evaporation and precipitation as the cleansing where the blood gets re-energized. So... We'll, we're in a big organism, you know, and you can call it the Garden of Eden if you want to be religious. You can say that we're in a, 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 a we're little atoms making up a big atmosphere. You can say that we're all battery cells uh, powering a big battery cell. Whatever you want to call it, guys, we kind of have to be responsible and not be programmed to think that we need a savior and that everything we do is just for our experience. We've got a responsibility here. And we should really be trying to keep what we've got. And um, that, that's my big word to everyone. Wake yeah. up and realize how important this is because we're constantly being programmed with new age spirituality now that, oh, everything's just a simulation and this, that. It's all crap, man. This is the reality. This is the physical realm and we're in it. And whatever energies are influencing us, whether they're um, higher or lower, we've got the sense of stage and we should appreciate it and and really uh show show that we're grateful by trying to preserve it well whatever, and you know with what you whatever understanding people have got scientists spiritual or religious keep it positive and let's keep it recycling the life you know where, where you're getting but but that is true like i'm telling you i'm finding this stuff out and i i'm telling you i think it's a major problem is uh is like you said the energy keep it positive um, I, I had gotten, I don't know if you were aware, but dude, I was starting to get consumed with like thinking like, oh, so-and-so is leading people the wrong way and doing this. I'm telling you, I really think it's in my imagination. And I think a lot of the people still who, who, uh, I got, a, I, I still get quite a few comments. Like, why are you, do, why are you promoting so-and-so this guy, that guy, the other guy? And I got to tell you, man, it's a freaking waste of energy. Uh, David Weiss, D I T R H, he he told me he was like, and, and, and I'm telling you, I was disagreeing with him. Like I, he would literally set me, trigger me when he said like, you have to ignore that. He goes ignore what you know, just ignore it. He goes just worry about about the good, and it was making me nuts hearing that because I was so convinced that you know it was oh it's important, but what I'm saying is like I was spending negative energy and i really think a lot of the people maybe watching right now i hope you're listening um consider it man because i can tell you for a fact david weiss and jaron jaron the same guy who uh who saw the iss do the transit right jaronism he has it on video where where the transit uh the iss crosses the moon both those guys have done a lot of you know they've promoted the uh the little flat earth people finder on zoomtruth.com that I made up. And when they did, you know, they brought a lot of people. They didn't have to do that. Listen, we're everybody's got their own idea of what is the right way to go. F.E. Core right now, you know F.E. Core? Are you familiar with them? 
No. FE Core is like a group of people. Uh, it's like Bob Nodell, um, Karen B, um, and there's a few others. And they are trying to, they do experiments. And I don't know if you've done, you know, experiments are like, I, I'm, I'm trying to, I have one draw, you know, I want to do the water line where I fill up a, a, a tube of water and I want to stretch it out two miles. And I want to see, you know, prove that, you know, either there's a bulge there or there it isn't, right? But it's more complicated than just getting it, filling up with water. You go out to the local place and you do it, you know? It's amazing how, uh, you know, and, and then with your regular life, you have to worry about things. So my point is that FE Core is doing this thing. And, you know, it's like they're like, I don't know, they're, they're charging money to, to do it or something. And the fact is, is like, I was so resistant to that. And I still have to overcome that because... How many scientists are out there working for free right now? Like, you know, you, it, things, these things cost money. The, the, the tubing that I bought just to do my little one, because tubing is so thicker, the, the bigger the diameter you get, it was going to cost like $4,000 for, you know, a, a, a thick diameter one. So I just bought the, the quarter inch. But my point is, is that, you know, FE Core is doing that. And I think we might be missing out on helping support, you know, if you, if, if, you know, rather than worrying about like, oh, they're in it for the money. Man, I don't think people are in this thing. There's no money in flat earth. Like there really is, there, there's not money, man. Maybe there, is, maybe there is if you're on the other side. In yeah. every country, I notice in America, you've got science spokesmen. Yeah, like Bill Nye and um, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Right. Uh, in England, we've got Brian Cox and uh, Simon Cy, Dan. Yeah. And in Spain, we've got uh, Quantum Fractor and some other guy, I can't remember his name. It seems like a pattern because these guys have got the most YouTube players. Oh, oh, yeah. There's there's money in anti flat earth, debunking flat earth, and this that the other. Yeah. And uh, these these guys all seem to have the same. And I'm lucky because I speak Spanish and English, and I check out American and English uh, kind of stuff. And I'm like, it's as if they've all got the same script. Point that out to people. Why just science? Sorry. Why does science need spokesmen? I thought the truth could speak for itself. Um, I think, I think uh, A, you're right. The money is on the side. The money, is, well, I, I, but, oh, wait, I got to even say this. Red's rhetoric guy. Some of them are liars. Like, like the, the um, I don't know if you know Lake Pontchartrain video where they showed the curve, blah, blah, blah. But it was so bad. It's like embarrassing how fake it is. Like, it's literally horrible. But Red's rhetoric guy, he wanted to do the same experiment that I want to do. And he went out there, and he was having so many problems. He was having leaks. He was, And people were saying, oh, he's freaking lying. No, he was encountering exactly why so few people, so few people are doing experiments. Because there's a lot of snafus that you don't expect. And not only that, you have to also be prepared to, like, um, have all these different variables accounted for. Uh, you know, the, even including the, um, what do they call it, where you uh, account uh, uh, for for um, variance in, in, in what is it called? I forget what the word is. Well, yeah, but, but, but uh, for error, for, uh, for variance for error, right? So you're going to margin of error. So you, like people, I'm not even that good at it, so I, I would definitely need help. But I think Red's rhetoric was honestly trying to do the experiment because he freaking thinks that guy, I think, legit believes he lives on a spinning ball. And, uh, you know, I think a lot of people are like, oh, he's getting paid. But I think some of these people literally are doing it for the same reason we are. Like, they think that, you know, they got the truth on their side. And uh, but I think they're in denial, too, because they seem to ignore every freaking thing that like I can accept. There's some things I don't you know that I don't understand. I will say. It. But it's like ball earthers, man, every freaking thing. It's like they will never say they don't understand anything. I, I very, very seldom hear them say, I don't have an, exp there's no explanation. They'll just point it off to something there's else. Obviously, there's obviously trolls, um, because when I go on, when I, I try to get a video and I'll post it on every platform I can, and I'll make sure my hashtags are not related to flat earth, if possible, I'll, I'll, I'll put science, discussion, um, test, experiment, uh, debate, what, whatever I can to try and reach a new crowd, because it's more, we're not supposed to be doing this for fans, subscribers and likes and views, um, and definitely the channels that are monetized, you have to wonder if they're a little bit more interested in keeping this thing going or yeah. getting this thing out there 
So I can understand that people have got their doubts. And I can understand people are pointing fingers saying troll, 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 and uh, shill, shill, shill. At the end of the day, I'm done with that, man. There's evidence of trolls because when I post something on Instagram, uh, I get hit by so many people, and it's always the same people. I go on Facebook and I get hit by the same people. They've never got a real profile picture. And, yeah. and, and no matter what you say, they're just there to answer, get the last word, because the more characters they type, the more money they get. So there's obviously people getting paid from the, for this. Uh, so I imagine there's people, there's controlled opposition as well. And I think that, yes, some of the biggest names, the first names that came out might be shills. Are they for sure? I don't know. I'll maybe never know. So I don't care. All that matters is you have to keep an eye on what's being promoted and why it's being promoted. If yeah. their shill is irrelevant, because like you said, you get some people that make honest mistakes and their video will get promoted so much because that's the agenda that they have. So whether they made the mistake or whether they did it on purpose is irrelevant. It's what's yeah. being promoted. And that's why we have to not what, recommend videos because when people go on for one video, they might get, oh, I think the earth might be flat. But then the next one on, on YouTube's uh, watch next playlist whatever what do you think of this is, what do you, is going to be something that debunks it or what do you think of this check this out what do you think of this well there's there's ways around that though this is what because let, all right check this out there, there's a there's books right i mean you have uh uh the, the the biggest lie on earth or whatever that is by ed henry uh i think it is ed or hugh but it, i think it's edward but anyhow what about uh you know even uh david and uh, you know people are going to be like oh you're shilling for david weiss or you're you're promoting him yeah, no, you know why I am? Because the guy freaking does a lot. And you know what? Oh, he he came, he has a way around it. On his uh, Flat Earth app that he did, he has it, he recommends, it recommends a video a day, right? So, and I think there's probably a video playlist also. So, so it's just another way to get around YouTube freaking censorship. The um, disinformation. Is it, yeah, is it, the, is it the only way? No, I mean, obviously you could just, you could just go point him to stoplookthink.com. You could point him to, uh, Eric Bay's, you know, uh, Atlantean conspiracy, all these things. They, they... I think what it is, is things work in phases, yeah? Now, phase one, whether some of them are shills or not, the big names with the big videos have woken us up. We're the first wave, yeah? Yeah. Now, it's time for phase two, because obviously the censorship and, and it, the, the, the market's been flooded, like I said, with, with so much information and disinformation. Uh, people get lost in there. So I think the next phase is show people how easy they can make simple experiments, recommend why they should make the experiments for themselves, because we're against faith in secondary information. So we shouldn't be promoting secondary information. End of. We should be promoting personal experience of uh, f first hand truths, of self evident truths, which can only be experienced by going to water level, checking the temperature of water under the moonlight, and uh, looking at a star with a modern camera. I mean, you've got a P900. I've just got a Panasonic Lumix. It ain't that good. But I tell you what, I zoom in on a star, make a nice recording, and I can zoom in more on my television and play it in slow motion. Easy experiments. Everyone should get out there. You don't even need a camera. You can borrow one of your friends or get your friend. You know, instead of just chatting with your mate on Facebook, Actually yeah. meet up with one of your friends and say, let's go and have a look at one star for one minute. Just to make a quick video. Done. Easy. Simple. You know, speaking of, I mean, I want to, uh, you know, I, I'm going to, uh, uh, I want to let everybody know. I think I'm going to probably try to aim to get out tomorrow for uh, tomorrow afternoon and I'll probably hit Princeton, New Jersey. So if I would love to, if anybody in the, uh, in the area uh, tri-state area wants to come out and maybe if I have to drive a little, um, I can, I can go elsewhere, but I want to go put someplace where there's a lot of people because, uh, I'm not good at the one-on-one -on -one thing, but, um, there's my, uh, my email is David at zoomtruth.com. Just in case anybody here might want to do it, uh, tomorrow. I know it's short notice. Um, one thing I was thinking of, what do you think about, dude, dude what do you think about this? If we could get all activists together for like one day, like maybe where we try to all like have a day where it, like it's kind is it summertime everywhere right now I guess right I mean it's kind of like nice I don't even know how that works but <laughs> you, you know like where like the weather's pretty good so maybe like we would be able to um to do that you know to uh broadcast 
to, to have a day where to plan a day where we're all trying to get out there on the same day. Uh, I don't know, man. I just wish we'd work a little bit more in a, in a, in a coordinated fashion sometimes. Well, Not that I want to have it be ruled or be a leader, but you know what I mean? John, but, John Smith's Globe Lie crew, uh, Harry, um, he set up um, a bit of a tour in the UK, in England. Yeah, yeah. Scotland uh, and Wales, and um, it went really well, I think, last year. Is so he doing another? Know. He's doing well, another one this year, right? I think what he's done is this year he's passed on the, the knowledge and he's got his crew because he needs a break, just like you do, just like I'm going to need a break soon. That's why we need your help, guys. Um, and they're coming out in a caravan, um, and they're gonna, they've got it all boarded up beautifully with Flat Earth Research, just that, the other. And uh, they're going to actually do a European tour and they're going to pass through a, a lot of countries. I recommend everyone check it out just to show a bit of support. It's the globelie.co.uk uh, website, and they'll show you all the countries of Europe. And what is that again? Globe? Globelie.co.uk. Globelie.co.uk. Oh, got it. Sorry. And uh, they're coming through Spain. And uh, they're, they're trying to make appointments like you've just done. They're letting people know where they're going to be at what time and what That's date. cool. People can get involved. And I'm going to try and get involved in two of the events in Spain because one's on the east of me and one's on the west. So I'm probably going to try and get to both of them, if, if at least one, uh, because I'm really looking forward to working together with the people that inspired me. And... Um, I think I, I'm going to try to make sure to give them a little, to get a little cash flow that way too. I think they do... They do uh, take take donations, right? At some level. Yeah, they need to. They need to cover some of their expenses. I put the link in there, guys. That's the uh, the tour. Um, and honestly, I I'm, I'm I'm ashamed to admit I've heard them talking about it, but um, I I have not looked into it enough. Um, do you have Do you have more information on it or no? Because I have I have the website up. Um, the, all the dates will be on the website and uh, there'll be contact information as well for their Patreon and uh, ju just all, all videos that they've done of activism that if they've inspired me, they could inspire uh, ideas to your to your viewers as well. So it's, uh, it's Holy great. Holy shit, do dude. How, do you see this? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Like, um, wow, this is insane. They're going to 64 local destinations. Yeah, man. They're going England, Scotland, Ireland, Wales, England again, Spain, Portugal, Spain, France, Switzerland, Germany, Lithuania, Poland. Like, wow. That's powerful, That's powerful stuff. They're going to make a real difference. Uh, they've already made a difference, but that's Holy the kind of stuff shit. That, 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 that puts, I'm sure your viewers have just got that like, whoa, that's, that's real dedication. That's... That's I hope so, man. But, but 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 with that said, I don't think. See, that's where I think, like you know, that maybe that's because you and I are have a proclivity, or we're inclined more towards this. But I'm telling you, the same type of excitement we should probably be lending to Fe Core to to um, to uh, what's yeah. that other guy? To the guy who does um, oh, I can't, who's the guy who does the long range photography um, out of the airplanes, guys. Who is that? What's his name? I'm I'm blanking right now. He uses infrared. He's been doing. He's been. But um, there's. I, f I can't believe I'm forgetting his name right now. But you know, there's so many people. But but yeah, this is this is pretty huge. Um, it is huge. And you know what? This is something we really should work on in the United States too. Maybe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You guys have got loads of RVs over there, man. Come on. <laughs> I hate the idea of having to like um um having to travel around so much that stuff is hard work uh ditrh has joined us everybody so that's pretty cool that was nice of him to stop by he's always busy doing stuff i know um but yeah the uh uh ditrh had introduced me i don't know if you're aware but for my flat earth just check this out too uh george my, my people finder thing that I made, it's like a basic, it was like a $20 program. And nice. so we, we released it. And right away, I had um, a few people uh, who are programmers saying they would be willing to help me with it, you know, and make it better. And, uh, and then Dave Weiss also had somebody who uh, I'm now working with, I think, taking it, uh, William, 
who is um, who is really uh, taking the range too. And uh, I mean, there's another guy, Greg, who's helping me. Anyway, it's very cool because all I, you know, I we put something up and now it's like they're taking it to the next level. I pretty much don't even need to do anything. You know what I mean? I'm not doing anything pretty much too. So, um, but that's really cool. Um, but, but wow. I just hope that, um, I just hope that we, we, we can uh, get more people involved now because, you know, like, you know, at, like again, at the start of this, by the way, everybody, this is George, uh, Stur George, what's your, what is it? Uh, Her Howard, George, Howard. Stur Howard, George. Yeah. Thank you. Howard, Howard George Stur Centric George. <laughs> yes. Uh, so uh, check out his channel. Um, but at the beginning of this, you guys, I know I, I, I'm kind of complaining a little bit, but I don't mean I don't mean to. But you know, uh, it would have been cool when uh, what's his name was on exploring again. If people would have just taken a, two minutes to take his little thing and tell us where would they would rather have gone, you know, to the North Pole, would they rather go to the center or would they rather go to the edge? And uh, people just didn't seem interested. Um, to, uh, to, uh, to, to participate. We got out of like 60 people watching, we had three people do it and it really deflated my, my, my want of, you know, continuing. Uh, David Weiss is also saying that the, the new website for the new flat earth people finder people, uh, I'm sure everyone's reading that, but he says the new setup and it's awesome. So that's pretty exciting. Are you, I guess he's trying to tell me I didn't, we didn't do such a good job on the first version. <laughs> I have an idea for your website, David. Yeah. You could um, start promoting the idea of a tour, even if you're not sure who's going to do it, even if it's not going to be you, maybe your website would be a good platform to promote the idea of doing a tour. Hence, you'll see where's the most interest and be able to plan a bit of a route. And as it's all because oh, yeah. it's in a secret, but it's like you've got to project the idea out. You've got to start working towards it. And as you start creating it, just like people have come and helped you with your website, take it to the next step, you could be the guy that starts the idea of promoting a tour. And by generating that interest, people will come, like they've done to help you with the website, say, hey, I've got an RV. And someone will be like, hey, I can drive. <laughs> well, check this out. Hey, I can, I can uh, pimp, pimp your ride up with loads of fly uh, stuff. And so, you know, put it out there. Dude, Make, check this out. How manifest. Manifest intent. We can, we can literally put each one of these locations and have them have a different marker on the people locator so that you can just go and you'll be able to click on the marker and you know it'll be another means of the, of the community being able to like you know people are going to find it through uh through their website too but if someone happens to be on the finder who hasn't heard about it through them they'll also be able to see it marked on there I, i'm pretty sure that's going to take place so but yeah no i'm with you um um as, as far as it can it'll be used i'm thinking that it's basically community property the uh the flat earth people finder so that way, like, hope maybe we'll get like a board of a group of people who are in charge of it. That way you can have some people and then have some structure where, you know, you, nobody gets to take it over too much, you know? No, no. Um, but next thing you know, you'll start seeing advertisements, you know, and no, I'm no, just kidding. No, no. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm thinking if people can kind of um, give you their word that if you were in their area, they would assist in activism. So you can plan a route and say, yeah, we've got so many people interested there. So if there's 10 people that say they join the activism, you can say, well, at least five of them will turn up. And if you've got 20 people in that state, you can say, okay, so at least half of them would turn up. So you can see where there's most interest, try and plan a route and then see how you're going to make it happen. But just by putting the idea out there, people on the website might say, hey, I'll do this and I'll do that. And it could just inspire people to talk to each other more and help each other. Maybe you could even add the feature where if I'm doing activism, I can press a button and people will see like, oh, he's now activated, he's, he's activated in this area and people know that they can come near that area and give you a hand. I don't know. There's, we, There's like, a lot of shit, man. It, you know what it is? The key is, is, is having, and this is why, you know, I'm, you know, having a place where, where, um, 
where you can have information be exchanged. Like, seriously, it'll be, I mean, hopefully it'll turn into like a, a Facebook type of deal only without all the bullshit censorship. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like you say, not not where people are just tweeting nonsense or trying to get themselves popular. Yeah, uh, or we'll boot be them. Quality, quality over quantity. That's yeah. like I say, we're diluting the waters with too much content, worrying yeah. about uh, getting the monetization off YouTube. We should really be focused on the bigger picture. Um, hold on. Uh, so just in case anybody, yeah, uh, uh, we're talking about the Flat Earth People Finder right now. And, and uh, in terms of relate, it's on zoomtruth.com. Um, I don't know if David, Dave, uh, Dave says all that will be available on the app. Uh, David nice Weiss is saying. So, nice one, Dave. So yeah, it looks like all, and I, and I think more even to tell you the truth. So it should be pretty cool, but hopefully more people will start, you know, we'll, 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 we'll pick up and like, if you're listening to this, if you want to make it really work, we got, you know, 800 people on it in the whole world. It's, you know, <laughs> we're, we do need people to, uh, to spread the word and, and, uh, and, and, you know, and to help get the people in those nooks and crannies who haven't heard about it. Um, so that way, uh, you know, we keep building this thing and uh, it becomes more powerful. That's if it's useful. And I think it could be useful. So I think early it has been days. useful. Early days. Yeah. Um, and because I'm going to be using it, by the way, like for activism. And this is one of the like uses you can kind of check. Well, I mean, you can zoom in and out on your area. So you can like in a 10 mile or 30 mile radius, you, you'll be able to look and see who are the people uh, in your area. And then you'll be either able to message them, I think, at some level and let them know you're going to be out doing activism uh, because I, I you know, for sure, I think when you have more people with you, it, it, it attracts more people to what's going on. Um, I don't know if you ever watched the uh, Pancho P channel, but those guys, when they would go out, they had like five, six, seven people uh, often out on the street. And it was pretty cool. Like, you know what I mean? They, they, it would, it would, people are interested. They come and gravitate just because they're wondering what the heck is going on. Um, so that will be nice. Um, I don't know. Well done. You, you you found a niche in the market. That you've you've seen you've seen something that's missing, and you've added it. That's brilliant. And now people are coming to add to your idea. That's it's wonderful. That's a community, and uh, I, I would say it's not the flat Earth community. It's the truth seeking community that yep. that want to know more and want to help share that truth. We really have to be careful, guys, because the flat Earth. Uh, as a as a label, flat earther, um, yeah. flat earth debate, flat earth theory, flat earth society. It's all been coined to cause that um, memory to, to to remember a negative uh, emotion, a negative memory, so that people either don't take it serious or they just ignore it because we've been primed to react that way. So I really am, I know you've called your website the Flat Earth yeah. People Finder, but try and mention Let me ask you though. Let, let, yeah. it, it could be fourth dimension shape. We don't yeah. know. We don't know it's the globe lie. That's the only thing. Don't, we, don't you think the heavy lifting has already been done? And like, honestly, like here I am, I'm like, ah, only, only 800 people of, you know, blah, blah, blah. Why, you know, there's not enough people on Flat, on flat Earth, whatever, what I call it, right? then you're concerned that flat earth is going to be detrimental. The fact to me, it's like, man, five years ago, four years ago, whoever started with the flat earth thing, it must've worked at some level because we're all sitting here chatting about it right now. And, yeah. and let me tell you, starting from four years, like, dude, if you think I'm freaking, um, what's the word despondent right now, man, I would have been a freaking nutball a hundred times worse knowing this stuff and, and like having like three people to chat with and two of them are arguing with me, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because uh, that's pretty much where it went pretty fast uh, off, off the bat. Um, so I, I don't know, man, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying, but I don't necessarily agree. You just say it yourself, Dave, you just say yourself, you got sparked, you got triggered. Yeah. Why? Because we either, we're, we're with the corner line in the sand, yeah? And flat earth, it either puts you on the, I'm a believer that the earth's flat and I will defend my beliefs by ranting and debating, which is what we all, we took, we all bit it. We all took the bait. Yeah. And yep. the other side is I will dismiss and ignore flat earth. So what's happened is yes, it's woke us up, 
but it's also uh, worked as the Hegelian dialectic, which is what they've always used throughout the history to cause division and distract us from the actual lies and the liars. And the yeah. lies are space exploration. And we shouldn't really be talking about the shape of the earth. We should be pointing out the blatant uh, hoax and scam. And we should be pointing out the geoengineering because they are two facts that well, we I can tell you losing focus because we're bothered about the model or the debate or the theory, as they called it, as they classed it. I mean, Obama came out saying, ain't nobody got time for the Flat Earth Society, which we know the Flat Earth Society was designed yeah. to, to, to dissuade people and discredit the people that are um, providing reproducible evidence. So I really recommend we all avoid saying Flat Earth to people that aren't woke, and we keep hammering on with that uh, pick ice ice pick that we just say the globe is a lie we're geocentric and there's geoengineering and uh yeah water, that water doesn't curve so so we're obviously being lied to that's all we know that's all we know yeah. and when we try and put you in a corner and say well how can it be flat if this so i didn't say it was flat you're saying it's flat because that's a controlled that's an automatic response that's been pro a programmed response i didn't say it was flat i said that it doesn't curve Right. I said that the water doesn't curve. I don't know. I can't see Earth from outside. I can't leave this atom because I would stop vibrating. It seems kind of like semantics to me, though, because the fact is, if it's not a ball, then I mean, uh, you know, I, but, but anyway, it doesn't matter. What's your cast I'll name? You, I'll give you one. I'll give you one. You know, cymatics. You've seen the technology, the science of cymatics, surely, where they can get a water droplet and they can play frequencies and it'll make geometry. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. You get a nice plaque of um, metal and you put some sand on and you put the frequencies and it'll make a, a geometric shape. Every single geometric shape you see in cymatics is the same as a snowflake, similar to a crop circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why am I saying this? Similar to the face of Earth. Earth is just a big plate, the plane of inertia, yeah? It's the, it's, it's the physical realm of the atmosphere, the big atom. So just like cymatics, we see the shape of um, the, the geometric shapes form under the frequency. Well, what frequency is Earth got? It, I don't know. You want to say let there be light or something? But whatever vibration um, it is, it's caused Earth, the continents, to shape where they are. And what shape is outside of that? We can't. I don't think we can see it because we're cymatics. Well, yeah, but that's no, kind no, of assuming. But that's isn't that kind of assuming too? No, no. That what, is, what I'm saying is, yeah. just like cymatics, every and snowflake, there's always a hexagram or, or a circle in the middle. Right. That vortex. So just like the north is in the middle of the big atmosphere, the big atom, the big apple. Yeah. And you cut it in half, you see that the core of the apple, the vortex, is the north. So just like cymatics, we can see the cymatics from outside because we're third dimensional beings. We're looking at a 2D D atom or whatever, or third dimensional cymatics. How can we see a fourth dimensional shape if we can't get out of here? And just like we can't uh, see the moon, we can only see part of the moon because it's transparent. So it proves it's not physical. Well, yeah. what makes us think that the Earth is completely physical or at least this is the plane of inertia. Yeah. This is well, you, you should have a conversation. All right. All right, you're this, ready to have a conversation with my brother next. Because you guys you can talk me, about simulation me. theory and everything else, right? No, no, I mean, I'm, saying, I'm saying we're looking yeah. at the plane of inertia, yeah. which is Earth. Yeah, we're saying, okay, so this is everything. No, when you see cymatics, you know that there's a magnetic field because you can see where the vortex is, like in a snowflake. So we can't see the Earth's magnetic field. We definitely can't see from outside Earth's magnetic field. We know yeah. that the sun and the moon can't be exactly just physical. They might be semi-physical. So what makes us think that Earth is 100% physical? We know there's a magnetic field. We know there's a North Pole vortex. And we know there's a vibration um, that we can see through the waves and that, that ma maintains life. So it's obviously um, bigger than we can imagine, a shape we can't imagine, um, unless somebody can show me the whole face of the Earth 
I don't know what shape it is. Okay. And even if and even if they can show me the whole face of the Earth, they can't show me from outside the magnetic yeah. field. But the so only thing is, is that yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. But I I still think that, dude, like for the vast majority of zombies out there, they don't. They're so freaking. Not ready for that. Let what you just talked about, man. You, you oh, lost, no, you lost no, half no. the people we're talking with, you know, right now. Because, like, you know, there. I don't know, but, 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 uh, but anyway, what's your kitty's name, by the way? Oh, uh, Smallville. What is it? Smalley. Smalley. Yeah. Cool. He's lovely. But yeah, this is why we got to keep the theories to people that are open-minded, that are already awake. Keep the theories to, to us. And uh, just spit, just talk globe lie and geoengineering to people that have uh, not woken up yet, because that's all that really matters. Defy, defying are the you, lie. The facts. Are you? I'm sorry to interrupt. Are you? Uh, are you going to hook up with the globe lie when they hit Spain? Yeah, twice. Uh, once for sure, maybe twice. When? When do you do that? What, what is that in September? I'm hoping, uh, I think it's about September, August or September. Uh, yeah, I see September 20th and 21st, Valencia and Barcelona. Yeah, and I'm then they, they hit Madrid. I'm going to try to get to two of them, if possible, all three. This is a cool website. I wonder if we're going to see them in, uh, like, uh, like. Uh, I wonder how many, I, I guess they're talking about it. Now, I'm going to have to watch more. I wonder how many, oh, here's the team. Who all is going? How much, how much have they raised? Like $50 million? What is this? What? Well, look at that. Look how much they raised. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, no. Space spending, that is. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, I thought they were raised. Like I was like, I was wait, gonna... I, I got to get into this business for a second. I say, if you see the state of their RV, it's, uh, it's not that good. <laughs> um, and but here... Yeah, they're doing a great job. They inspired me and... Um, I'm I'm trying to inspire the the Spaniards because uh, no nobody's doing activism over here yet. I'm I think I'm the only one. At get least get out of here in all of Spain. We're the only one you know of, hopefully, man. But uh, hey, how many people? How many people supposedly live in Spain? How many people? Um, millions. I, I'm I'm wrong. I have to take that back. There's there's a lot of Spaniards that are doing online activism. There's a yep. lot of great contact content creators. There's a lot of people waking people up. But there doesn't seem to be any face-to-face -face activism apart from uh, myself that I, I know of, at least so far. So I'm trying to make it um, as popular as possible by adding a bit of music. I'm downloading the app uh, Video Shop, so it's amateur, but I can add music. I can add t text to make points. Is the uh, weather I'm always video. nice in Spain? Like, is the weather always temperate in, in, in Spain? Is it always nice? Or is it, you guys have winters it's, and cold weather there? It's, a bit? In southern Spain, it's it's pretty nice most year round, yeah. We're, we're lucky. Probably so nice, people just don't want to, like, they don't even care. It's like, you know, just kidding around. Like, hey, <laughs> like I say, you relate it to people. I get the tourists. I say, hey, guys, you come here to sunbathe? They're like, yeah. I'm like, did you realize that your suntan's in danger with all these chemical clouds in the sky? And yeah. maybe, maybe your health as well. And they're like, what? So straight away, you got people that are on holiday. And then you tell the people that have got businesses here, you're like, hey, don't you think that this could be endangering our tourism? You know, they're com I never talk about the chemical implications or the possible more jalons and all that conspiracy stuff. Because, again, I don't know. All I know is there is geoengineering. It's not denied in Spain. It's, it's undertaken by NASA. And um, we should have more in, in, independent investigation because of your skin time. And hey, local business keepers, because of the tax, uh, because of the tourism money. And you just have to make it relate, make it relate. Everybody's worried about their health. Everybody's worried about the kids. Yeah. Mention the autism that's gone up. This, this stuff is really obvious, but a lot of people just need to be reminded and it's brutal I, I, man though it is brutal like like yeah i mean i i get why people don't want to um why people some people don't want to you know do do uh activism because it you know if you're not up for, if you're not into that whole scene like it, it gets it's some people like are like oh i don't know how you don't how you don't want to punch that guy out or, you know for me it's like you know because i was him i'd be wanting to punch me myself out at that point you know at, 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 but you know some people don't feel that way um so I don't know. I just think that uh, hopefully, like you're saying, though, we, we like more and more people start like getting involved, like D-I-T-R-H. 
he gets he like I literally was giving him a freaking hard time like an idiot dude like when I think about it now like how stupid and Mark Sargent too same thing man they just had me on flat earth and other hot potatoes right yeah. um when I was on there another 50 maybe 100 people signed up and, and uh while when I was on uh, with Patricia Steer and, and Mark and you know I think uh you know hopefully they'll continue to help bring more people into it and so, that's, that's 50 people that now see how I'll, another way of sharing the global eyes. You can go out and talk to people instead of just making content on YouTube. I think you're doing yes. great. I think you're doing really well. And it's great that you're networking with people that do it differently because it will take all flavors to, to help yes. break, break this one. Um, yeah. What else did I want to tell you? Um, well, you have a long list too. I mean, you're going to have, you're going to post up a link. But for anybody who is interested, and by the way, Marilyn Spirit Level, like she's thinking along the same lines as you. I, I don't really like, I'm not like so in, like I, there's certain things that you'd certainly learn from doing it, but I don't, I feel so uncomfortable telling people how to do activism in a way, because for me, it's like, it's such a personal way, thing on how, like, exactly. something like. You've got to do it your way. I think what I've come on here to do is not, to try and belittle or condescend to anybody i'm sharing my experiences that have worked for me and i put my videos online so people see what i can break through the programming uh, that people have uh, underdone and i and i want people to learn from what i'm doing and i want to learn from people so please make the comments as constructive as you can share what works for you and um, let's try and keep all the comments constructive and polite because at the end of the day, whenever we get frustrated and do an Alex Jones, we look, we've look we lost the point. We lost the reason people are going to start with the negative priming. Um, I'm listening, by the way. Just to remind you, I just went and did this um, this do on the town hall park, like I said, and I took another batch of these with me, flyers, and like I said, I had 100 conversations. Only one person laughed at me which is a lot better than two years ago. But it's also because I'm getting better. How do you get better? Practice makes perfect. I find that every interaction you learn from, and sometimes the ones that you don't break are the ones that you learn most from. The ones because that you don't what? Is that the, fault, the people that you can't break are sometimes the oh. ones you learn the most from because you learn about yourself. You learn, okay, I'm addressing this wrong, or I could yeah. have done this better. And oh, you're yeah. always going to step your game up because practice makes perfect. Yeah, you're making me, every time I watch, every time I watch activists go out there, and this is for me, like, so, you know, for people who aren't into activism or aren't looking to do it, you, but they, they're, they're learning stuff by watching this stuff too, because you can learn certain responses, like authentic intent, man. He, Josh, he has gotten, I, not to say he wasn't good when he started and, and, and you know, was kicking ass, but. Man, he really he's 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 gotten really good at uh, at, at um at, you know turning the tables on people and letting people like realize that something's wrong with their thinking on their own, which is really not easy to do. It's like what Harry does, which is why you know I wish I wish uh, I wish uh, it would be so cool if he stopped by. Or, but uh, I, I hope everyone watching remembers the name that you, oh, we put it in the description. John Smith's Globe Lie. He's so good at this. He, he really does point out to people when they're doing a, um, an or programmed response. And he says, do you see what you've just done there? Um, and he explains to people that they're, they're suffering from Stockholm Syndrome because we're trying to get people to question things and they're just defending uh, the people that are deceiving us without any evidence. And, and they're so quick to defend uh, the authorities and put us down and say that we're liars or that we're stupid. And it's like, guys, do you realize your response is really rude? Um, if I was telling you my religious beliefs, you wouldn't say that. If I told yeah. you my sexuality uh, differences, you wouldn't treat me like this. Why is it okay to treat me like this? Just because I think we're being lied to. And it's like, yeah, why am I? Why yeah. am I? Oh, I like that head? point. Yeah. I'm biting your head off. It's like, whoa, I'm not normally like this. And he's like, it's okay. It's a program response. And he, he totally uses the psychology on people. And they see like, oh my God, I've just reacted. I've just, I've just been triggered. And that's why we got to keep pointing out. May I just say quickly, yeah. um, on that party where I was giving out the flyers and I had loads of good interactions, I accomplished something that I was really hoping would happen. I, um, I managed to get 
three different political parties that are running for the elections to take flyers. And um, one of those is the deputy mayor uh, of, the, of the party that's in now. And he mm -hmm. put it in his pocket and I showed him through all the experiments. And, and I told him, like, look, this is all interesting because there's a lot of money. I said, this geoengineering is important. And he's like, yeah, yeah. I said autism. He said cancer. I was like, got him. I've got him. And he took it with him. And that's the deputy mayor. And then I got a party that wants to win the elections that's even uh, let me post on their group. Uh, because he liked my sh uh, presentation. And another guy has actually gone on to my post on Facebook that's running to be the next mayor. And he's actually said, you're doing a great job. If we win, we're going to look into this stuff. And I, I know it's not local council. They're such liars, still, bro. You it, didn't it, believe them, did you? I mean, <laughs> what I mean is this yeah. politician who's made a public statement on my yeah. Facebook but, but they do that all the time, man. They're the freaking point is, yeah. the people that are following, the people that are looking are like, oh my goodness, if a politician says it, maybe I should look into it. And the point is, I'm planting seeds on the other side of the field. Yeah, fence. no, I hear you. But I've, I've, seen uh, you I've seen you talking to the coppers. Uh, sorry, yeah. we call them bobbies and coppers. I've seen yeah. you talking to the police when they come, and you're really good. You're 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 polite and you're you're getting them to think while they're asking you for your documents and you're like making that conversation because it's good to get people on that side of the fence yeah. we need i'm with you i'm people. not i I'm, i hear you but the thing is man is that but like the, 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 the like the it, it, that's more like me freaking just trying to do it for show kind of because the the police are so freak like i mean they're actually people too so maybe one of them will, will smell the bullshit but they're freaking more mind control than your average than your average zombie, I think. But the politicians, bro, dude, they're such scumbags, man. Like literally, I think like they, I don't know, man. They 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 mean maybe mean well when they get into politics, but they get sucked into into the lies. Really, I mean, dude, think about this. It has to be that way, and I don't want to be. I don't want to concentrate in negative energy, but. If they were such great people, then local government wouldn't be so corrupt. And local government is as corrupt as, for, at least in my experience, I don't know any local government that's any less corrupt than the federal government. They are all in it. Like, it like morphs. It's like its own being. And when the guy gets in there, like, maybe, maybe they see that they're powerless, they truly are powerless to the system or some shit. But I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know alien dialectic they're always going to distract us with an abundance of data to distract us and cause us to divide between us we should all be saying look we don't care what party wins we want more transparency we want more transparency on where the money's going we want, we want to have a bit more interaction with a, a new uh, local or national platform where we can vote by the day on yeah. things interacting yeah. you know and then if every this is what i've done yeah we got a local um, we got a local police station moved into the touristic area because yeah. they were all where the Spanish were. There was nothing where the tourism was, and that's where yeah. all the problems are because there's muggins, there's beggars, there's prostitution, there's obviously lots of drugs. And um, it took us six years, but that's how I got into activism originally. I was saying we want police in the area because we've got um, all sorts of stuff going on outside our shop. Uh, we need we need a bit more presence of police to keep the, the scum away. And um, guess how I did it? I managed to get three different politicians to promise that they would do it. And the first time round, nothing happened. Sorry, one time I got one politician, the mayor that was in, he, he didn't do it. But then when the elections came, because I'd been putting it out there that much, I had three different politicians say, if we win, we'll do this. Now, if they win, will they? I don't know, but you've got a better chance. So you, you've got to try and work with the system that we've got to change the system. You've got to tame the beast. Anarchy oh, but I, 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 man, dude, I don't see. I See, this is my experience, right? And I mean, you know, whatever. I hear what you're saying. But my problem is, is that in, uh, in terms of um, working in the system, that's like, you know, I had, I, I got a ticket, right? For what back, back in the day when I was on the boardwalk and I bought like all these law books. I'm like, I'm going to study the law. I'm going to learn the law. And then like, as I was doing it, I'm like, 
why am I freaking learning? To why am I trying to learn their corrupt freaking system? You know, and I kind of feel like, dude, this system, you're never like, I don't think it, this is my opinion, of course, I could be wrong. But it's the glass half empty or half full. You've been doing too much activism for too long. You've got to stay positive. People keep telling you this. We can change the system, but we've got to plant the seed so it grows from the inside. No, and no. But what I'm saying is, is I don't think I'm not I'm not trying to be so negative as much as I'm saying. Sometimes it's, will, sometimes it's better. I way. think I think sometimes it's better to start over because it, to, to to try to fix something that is so messed up. Um, but, you know, but then again, like, you know, it makes a lot of sense, theoretically, like the constitution and all these things, but it, 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 it ain't working, dude. It ain't working. Even if you want to start over. Now you said two things, if I may. One, you haven't got to start learning all the laws. That That's someone else's department. All you've got to do is plant the seeds in those departments and let them flower let them do the work for you like i say put a flyer into yeah. someone's hand telling them how to do the science yeah. once they've done the science they will do your job oh, for I... you okay so if you tell politicians this that the other and you tell council and mm -hmm. uh, government officials and policemen and as many people on that side of the fence as you can yeah. you will cause what they do to us a galian dialectic we've got to cause division on that side of the fence we've got to disrupt the system so either the system will reform or like you said make a new system how are we going to make a new system we need some of the key players that know how things can work and how they work now to say yeah i i can't stand this anymore we could do it this way. We we can't learn all the laws like you've tried. We can't learn all the politics. We can't learn all the technological platforms of how we could do ourselves. But we can plant the seeds to the people that are in them departments and get them on board. And like you said, when there's a majority, the avalanche. But yeah. we need to plant them seeds everywhere. And, and, the, and the fact stoners, is... And, yeah. Stoners and university yeah. kids and, and, and like... Uh, people that are like, yeah, the earth's flat. Well, they ain't good enough. We need to have people of all colors, all flavors, all um, creeds. We, we need to have it really, really balanced. Yeah, and we need to freaking, we, dude, I'm telling you, we need to freaking stick together, man. Because right now, I don't know if you can read the chat, but no. Mar Marilyn's here. I don't know. Do you know Marilyn's spirit, spirit level? I'm going to speak to Marilyn on um, Sunday. I'm really looking forward to it because I've seen that we're all in this uh, yeah. activism and we're getting laughed at and stuff and I've got all these tips that I've found work for me so yeah. I'm hoping that I can share like I've done with you with Marilyn I'm hoping that she'll have some advice for me I'm really hoping that the viewers of Marilyn what, like, but wait, but, can take something from this and, and, and add to it because we've really got to look at what's working and what's a waste of time. Well, let me tell you what's a waste of time right now. Pushing okay. a model, pushing yeah. a model is a waste yeah. of time. But, but wait, but that's, but I think that's an opinion though. But hold on. More importantly though, Marilyn. It's a belief, Dave. It's a yeah. belief. You're pushing a belief. You okay. then we're better than the people yeah. that were. Against. But no, no, but wait, wait. No, you're not pushing it. But if you say, if you say, if you say flat earth and you say, but I, you know, this is what I use. Uh, but I don't have, uh, you know, this is one possible, it's a possibility, right? But anyway, beyond that, I was really trying to bring her up because Marilyn is is kind of, I believe, and hopefully she can get through, she can understand what I'm trying to say here. And maybe you can tell me what your thoughts are. But dude, just a short time ago, I was out there and I was with Marilyn. I was against conferences. I was against half the freaking quote, you know, main, the main uh, figurehead or main, you know, Mark Sargent. Uh, I was calling out Dave Weiss. I was, I was call oh, uh, Bob Nodell, because mostly uh, I think it, it evolved, but it was, it was at, uh, when the Behind the Curve video came out, I became like obsessed, like these people are making us look bad, right? And then you start getting suspicious and then other people echo what it is I'm thinking and it kind of perpetuated that the, thought. Or is it the directors, the producers? Did right. they Look, uh, this is why I say some people are so sure. Was, yeah, but my maybe point maybe is, but my not. point the is, point but check. Yeah, but wait, I just want to finish. My point yeah, yeah. is, is that Marilyn, I'm telling you, and this is the same for Awake Souls and the Limitless Channel, and this was even me. Um, you get to the point, dude, where where you're, you're so worried about what other people are doing, and your energy starts being freaking, starts being more negative than positive. 
It's not good, dude, because you're not really, uh, hey, people can think for themselves. They don't need me. They don't need you to point out who is, who is doing what. I don't think people, uh, especially uh, this community, you don't think so. I disagree in a way. I'll tell you why. I think you are good to shout people out. I, I think you are good because even if Mark Sargent isn't a shill, yeah. it doesn't hurt his. It doesn't hurt that his ego thinks that people might think he's a shill because yeah. then he'll turn around and say, "Right, what am I doing wrong? What could I do better?" All Maybe right. wear this cap and these short trousers because I look a little yeah. goofy. Look, I don't look. But very that's what. But that's the way he chooses to be, right? So why well, why criticize him? Maryland Spring. Yeah, Maryland. Yes, yeah. Yes, Maryland that's just that's said that's this. Maryland just said promote, promote. I don't, you, I don't know if you can see chat, but this is what I'm talking about. Promote, support, or do activism. There is nothing else in all caps. Do you agree with that? I, I, like I said, I don't think we should be still recommending other people's videos because that's secondary information, and I don't think we should be pushing models because that's beliefs. Yeah. No, but what I'm if saying is, she's saying what I'm saying is, just like she's gotten to the point where she's militant in that if you're not doing yeah. activism, then you're not part of the, you're not doing anything for good. And I totally, like I, I say, do not, I, I cannot agree with that. Like I say, I like her too. too. I think what she means is there's two types of activism: there's online and there's face to face, and either way. We shouldn't be pushing models and beliefs because yeah. at the end of the day, and this is my main point, as soon as you admit you have a belief, yeah. you are put in the corner and the burden of proof falls onto you. And we're not supposed to be proving Earth is flat. We're supposed to be showing people how they can verify for themselves that the globe is a lie. And that's why we have to keep hammering the globe is a lie I don't know what shape the earth is because we will be put in the corner and right. we will then be on the pedestal where we have to prove our theories. And that's where we lose the argument, where we lose yeah. the debate that was designed to keep us divided and distracted from the real enemy. And I think Marilyn is right to be militant because nobody, apart from you, Dave, there's not that many people taking it serious. And like I say, Mark Sargent... Well, but wait, but Mark, Lord, say, it, do you don't think, wait, you don't think Mark takes it seriously? I think Mark takes it... I don't know. I don't know. I all do. I do, because, I do, I do think, yeah. If yeah. I may, all I do think is that it's now time for Mark to step, step his game up because he's been, you've mentioned it. A lot of people have said, is he a shill? I don't know and I don't care. Yeah. I just hope he If he is, if, like Dave said though, if he is, if he is, then he do, he's done more, he's woke more people up than, than anybody I know. I mean, it's a fact. Dude, he freaking woke my ass up. He okay. woke my but ass the, up. But but the whole idea of perfect isn't a isn't a destination. It's a state. It's constant and never ending improvement. Everyone yeah. can do better. And I, I'm really happy that uh, Mark Sargent woke so, so many people up. I would be very happy if he stopped wearing goofy caps, short shorts. But that's and, just your opinion. Don't you see? But, I but, I was but, thinking the same thing. You're projecting. What about your big beard? What about wait, Howard? Let, what about your big beard? You, There's a lot of people you. are going to say you when you eat, you're going to get food all over your beard. You're going to be looking bad, like you know. Right. What I mean? I'm, I'm just busting your balls, but no, no, no I'm glad you do. I'm glad you do. I've I've kept this for a reason, and I'm yeah. chopping off soon, and it's worked for me. Yeah, it's yeah, got yeah, yeah. attention, but I've dressed smart. My flyers are crisp and clean and my evidence is, i'm not asking yeah. people to believe me or go watch another video which yeah. is set information i'm yeah. asking people i'm showing you can't but i would oh, I'm, I'm not i'm not talking specifically about your beard i'm saying no, 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 I'm i saying used to think saying. the same thing about mark and now i'm like wait a second who am i to tell him what to wear what to how to act da, 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 da. i'm not i'm saying yeah. i'm saying if a lot of people start talking about my beard i'll take notice and i'll yeah. say i better step oh, my game. oh okay here we go I'm yeah. not saying that Mark has yeah. to change the cap and has to change the short shorts. Yeah. I'm saying that maybe he should because that's the thing that many people yeah. are moaning about. Yeah. So it's good that you called him a shill, even if he's not, because yeah. it's probably made him But think, I disagree with you now. What am I doing that. wrong? Yeah. And what can I do better? Because yeah. we all have a little ego trip that, yeah, I've done good and this, that, the other. But sometimes we need to kick up the arse, uh, ass, and you say, yeah, okay, maybe I, I didn't realize I could do this better. So I, I applaud you for shouting him, uh, for calling him out. Even if you were wrong to about him being a shill, I think yeah. it has it done good because it's making the whole yeah. truth-seeking community think yeah. twice because it's not okay 
yeah. for you to represent a big movement if the big movement is not happy about the way you do things. So like I say, if anyone's got things that I'm doing that they don't like, please give us feedback. Let's learn yeah. from each other as long as we're constructive. Yeah. But the only thing is, is that, let me ask you this. Out. Right. But the only thing is, is that just because a bunch of people say you should do this or that, at the end of the day, I'm the dude going out on the street. And if you don't like the way I do it, go F yourself and you'd go do it your own way. So yeah, you know what I mean? Like at a certain I, point, yeah, I get you. Mark Sargent, you know, back in the old, back in the day when there was nobody doing this, he was the guy who, who was the lunatic, man, because four years ago, dude, you go out there and you say the earth is flat before a bunch of people, you know, start cheerleading this stuff. Then, you know, everybody, you know, you, you know what I'm saying? So, so, uh, so I mean, I hear what you're saying. It's good for I, it's good I for have to, I, have to quit, I have to quickly repeat what I said though. I I didn't say that he he has to or he should. I'm saying if he wants to, yeah, okay. he should. If he wants to step his game up, yeah, yeah, then there's a well, good. Then, yeah, assuming, assuming that we're right. Assuming, assuming that we're right. Going off what people are saying, yeah. in general. He could say, you know what, I don't care, I've done good enough. And that's his choice. But if he wants to do better, then listening yeah. to the people that yeah. are not happy is yeah. often a good, good place to start. And you yeah. can say, well, yeah, I, I agree. I all I know is this. All I know is this, dude. I have a ton of... Yeah, one or not, you know? yeah ha Howard, all I know is this. I got a ton of people, right, who, oh, do this, do that, whatever, right? And that's all good, right? But at the end of the day, man... I end of the day man it's like shit you know you, you, you know you, you and you're the one who's going out there and doing it you know what come, come back and give me, the, give me some recommendations give me some recommendations after you've been going doing it or or doing more or like and you know i mean you know i have no idea what how much profit it's really none of my freaking business whether people are making money off of this thing if they're spreading the truth and and, it, and what they're saying is true well, or at least you know you can believe that a lot, a large part, portion of it is true. Then, man, that's better than freaking so the scientists who are freaking getting paid and the teachers getting paid to to freaking indoctrinate kids. Uh, they're they're making money and they're they're just I mean they're I mean they're clueless that they're probably spreading lies. But you know, so uh, I don't know, I don't know. It's complicated. I didn't mean to get all crazy, but um, I just think that. Coming from that side, man, coming from the negative energy side, I can see it. Like, it's like, it's almost like I broke through it. And I'm like, whoa, man, that shit just doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't even matter. It really doesn't matter. And I want to bring a couple, I want to see if other people will try it out and see that, you know what? None of that shit matters. What matters is that, you know, if you, every interaction you have, if every chance you get, you're dropping a, you know, you're dropping a pill or if you're planting a seed, if, you know, if that happens, either that or, I, you know, I feel like I'm delusional. Man, when I look at Flat Earth People Finder map and I see 800 people on it and I see that Mark brought it up, I see that David Weiss brought it up on his show and there's, and we're at 800 people. I'm like, where is everybody, man? I wanted a few more people to be with. I don't want to feel so crazy and like, you know, like, so like, I mean, consent, you know, I am being consensus oriented in saying that, but, um, Man, uh, it, we are few and far between right now, according to the map. I think it's possibly part of the problem. I keep saying if we're if we're promoting other people's videos, one, it's faith in secondary information, and two, we're making idols, new idols, and we're, we're asking people to become fanatics of, of a new theory. Because mm -hmm. we really should be saying to people, you go and do the experiments, and then you can go and spread the truth. And you can make your own channel and 